to oh bro we got like i got an archive senate call to go over i got like more lies i got a, a, a kumo video to go over i got a whole crystal flame claims from leo convoy say the original leo convoy video i was going to react to it's take it down what happened what happened? thank god it was archived ladies and gentlemen we need to hold these pedophile hunters to a standard ladies and gentlemen what's up and welcome to flatly talking i never really done an intro for a live stream so here we are we're in new territory now i never thought in my in my entire year of commentary that we would just be shitting at other comments the infighting and small commentary has been on pause all right all you motherfuckers like sending everybody y'all gonna get your lick soon okay listen everybody where's iris iris is iris is currently sleeping right now on a folded up sweatpants <laughs> she she brought them up there herself so i just folded them nicely for her Anyways, those Minecraft intros last night were fire. Yo, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Minecraft video is coming soon with Sliggins, bro, featuring Sliggins. But Leo Convoy, Leo Man Bad, Leo the, the, dude's fucking weird, bro. The weirdo, bro. Leo Convoy, you're weird, bro. Straight up weird, like a loser, bro. Like, you're one, you're one dox away from just being a complete loser. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. He already does that. Anyways, we got where do i begin with this stream bro there's so much stuff so many moving parts and i i blame leia something and, and i also blame uh my boy echo of tragedy there's so many moving parts and i'm absolutely absolutely befuddled and obsessed with it don't pay attention to that hole in the wall it's been there since i moved in all right it's uh it's an electrical outlet that's not hooked up anymore it was hooked up but i kept shocking myself on the leg not a good look not a good look. Although, I'm pretty sure the synapses in my brain kept connecting. It makes me more sane instead of like these terminally online. Uh, I don't even want to call them retards, bro, because they're 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 not. They're just stupid. They're just dumb, stupid motherfuckers, bro. But today we're going to be talking about Leo Convoy, uh, his, his claims against hopeless peaches or someone else's claims against hopeless peaches. And he's he's making a video. Flatly is a secret wall smasher. Hey, where'd you find that at? Hold on. Whoa, wait a minute. How did you know that? If I didn't even know that, how did you know that? You know what I'm saying, bro? But I don't get it, bro. We're, we're going to that Mr. Monkey. So how long until Doodle dumps Leo too? Bro, three weeks. Three weeks, bro. Three weeks. We got... We, we we gotta keep track. We have to keep track. So we know Peaches knew that there were miners in the Discord. We have to keep this fact in our minds. So when I look at these clips, I've already seen them before. I want everyone else to see them. We're gonna spread this around as much as possible. She knew they were miners. She knew she was having sexually aggressive conversations with miners. She knew there was porn being distributed in the server with miners and she knew she was in a call with another said miner literally getting off in the call and stayed. It said it was weird, but not the weirdest thing that's happened in the call or a discord. If it was me, hopeless peaches, if I was in your shoes, uh, I'm out of there. I don't know what it is with these, these communities, these furry pedophile hunting communities always seem to have actual pedophiles come into them it's like white on rice bro they just come i mean look at our area of commentary sure we have we have pedos and stuff like that right look at what happened to them though what happened to flamenco guys where where are they oh that's insane did they they got fucking doxed into the ground they got the shit kicked out of them bro we don't mess with those fucking weird motherfuckers around here, bro. And I don't understand why this part of commentary is all about that weird shit. The art commentary people. Granted, some of them are genuinely talented. They're degenerative as fuck, bro. Go outside. It's not that hard. Anyways, I'll get a sidetrack, bro. I really want to dive into this thing, bro. Like, all right, all right. Keep it simple. She knew. She knew, right? She knew. Do we start with more lies from Leo Convoy, the Senate call, or Crystal Flames claims on Leo Convoy? Or Hopeless Peaches, excuse me. Three three possible outcomes. We're gonna cover all three of them. I think I think I'm gonna start 
with the Akumo video only because I like Akumo. Akumo's fucking awesome. And he's been getting the shit kicked out of him by these losers. So, ugh, whoa, had a little too much to drink last night. Woke up feeling a little sick. Hey, but I'm like P. Diddy, so you know what I'm saying? I'm out the door. I'm about to hit the city. Let's get into this thing. Uh Oh, link in the description. The channel donation thing is in the description. I'm selling out right now, guys. $5 for the month of March. If I end up getting over $100 in donations... I am going to be jumping through a flaming table. I've done this before, okay? I've done this before at Bill's Tailgates. But if we get $100 in donations through the whole month of March, I'm jumping through a uh, a flaming table. What's up, N-Words? You scared me there for a minute, bro. Katonic Echo scared me. That's the homie. Everyone go check out Katonic Echo. Please go sub to him, bro. Get him to 1,000. He's more deserving of 1,000 subs than I am. Get him to 1,000 subs. That'd be absolutely insane. The high man himself, Katonic Echo, bro, was on another planet last night. Making videos on both Leo and Hopeless soon. I can't wait to review that on stream, bro. I can't wait. I absolutely cannot wait. Let's go. All right, Akuma. Convoy's most recent video on Crystal Flames allegations. Now, I'm not going to talk about the entire thing, but I'm going to talk about a good majority of it. I'm going to show you quite a bit of it, and I'm going to tell you a lot of information and a couple of things. Okay, maybe we don't actually have to watch that video. Maybe we can just watch this video. ...that I noticed, and I hope you get a kick out of it as much as I do. Hey there, I'm Lyo Convoy. I know that you're all... Bro! Just make a normal video. Just sit down and talk face to face, come on. I don't give a fuck about this Goku shit. Waiting on a video of me addressing the allegations levied at He's gonna talk around it. I already know. This dude's just gonna talk around the point. Me. I promise you that is being worked on. Yes, I will be addressing everything, including interviews, testimony, and whatever else. Oh! Addressing these situations takes time, and I have a lot of evidence to collect and many allegations to sift through and address. But today we're going to be looking at the allegations specifically made towards Hopeless Peaches and focusing on a thread made by Crystal Flame and what happened after that thread was made. The reason for that is simple. I am being accused of siding with a supposed predator. This guy actually unironically makes these. Not wow. putting peaches to the same standard I would other people, so I am taking it upon myself to sift through these allegations and debunk them. We are going to be addressing the calls I had with Crystal, the claims made in a thread Crystal released, the hypocrisy of Crystal and their partner, Water Dorito 13, and their conduct throughout Bro, the entire situation. Your forearm's bigger than my leg! Let me establish a timeline. On Saturday, February 25th, Crystal Flame asked Akumu for the logs of the FCK. That's Since a normal forearm, bro. At the time, I offered my copy to The Senate cop, dude, these cookies are so good. I went to Insomnia Cookies. Okay, my wife did. My wife bought Insomnia Cookies last night. They're so good, bro. Crystal. While I had the logs for a few months, I couldn't pour through all of them at once. Asuka, someone on my staff, was the one with the logs. They're massive, and we only now had a full team to dig through them. Originally, when I got the logs, the purpose was to look through them because I heard through a third-party source that Akumu was going to use them against Peaches to make accusations, along with the fact that he mentioned several people were scheming to harass him at the time in 2020. I have no idea why Lyo is trying to keep this person anonymous. Like, I'm not going to mention who they are because I know exactly who the fuck it was. It's so so weird, I'm going bro. to give you a brief rundown of some events that you guys don't know about that's going to build to a point that I've been... So when someone does this, especially here in our area, our neck of the woods... They're pretty much covering for a friend, an associate, someone they've been seen with multiple times on multiple streams, multiple occasions outside of actual content creation. Maybe even they actually met up in real life too, especially in our neck of the woods and commentary. That's what we see. And then I'm going to be honest, I'm going to come at Slug and Sen. They've come at me for similar reasons of, oh, you're covering for your friend. And now they're kind of doing the same thing. But that's what we do over here. We cover for each other because we all have cliques. We all have little tiny crevices where we all funnel into and we sit around with our friends lurking in the dark waiting for the next big piece of meat to come out. And we all come out and snatch it and bring it back to our group. But we all kind of nibble on that little piece of content like the little demon alien creatures in the dark that we are. You know what I'm saying? Crack void killers, if you will. That's what we do. That's our side of commentary. But there are certain times where the pie is just big enough. Where all of us unite. And we're like, no. We need to take this thing down. Right? We need to take 
this thing down. This is one of those moments. And Leo is out there on his end trying to cover for his friends now. He doesn't want to name this person. That makes it even worse. That makes it even worse for you, bro. Making throughout this entire thing. The person Lyo is referring to is Xeranthropy, an SCC member. And I spoke to them because while I was working on the FCK video, I got a little burnt out and I was scrolling through Mad Libs' server and I came across Xeranthropy pretty much glazing Mad Libs' video from September 2020. And I thought, okay, well, I like interacting with this community and their audience. Why don't I see where this interaction goes? So I sent them a friend request and we spoke on February 6th of 2024. Ooh. We spoke about the FCK and my series like a, and one of the most recent things at the- like what, This feels like a murder documentary. I'm watching like a murder doc. The time that I was working on the FCK server video, Last and I started time she telling them a little bit about the server and sharing screenshots the with them. And Xeranthropy did mention planning on taking this to somebody else. Why do they all have weird fucking names too? Like these people have their names start with Q's and Z's, and and then weird, just weird fucking letters, bro. Like, how do they fucking come up with these names? Do they just go to like a name generator. Like, how? How? I mean, everyone's like, how'd you come up with Flatley? It's very easy, Flat Stanley. Super. Come on. To get their thoughts on it so that they could look into it. And you could take a guess on exactly who that was. That was Lyo fucking Convoy. Whoa. Mid to late February, and I had the premiere for the FCK server video set up. Now remember, Lyo himself has admitted dozens of times now that he's had the logs for months. And I know who he got them from. He didn't get them from Xeranthropy. He got them from someone else that was in the server. But what's interesting about this... So why did he release the logs? This explains why Peaches did her little accountability thread a day before my premiere. And it also explains why this, this same day before my premiere, about uh, two, three hours before my premiere, he rushed to upload his conundrum video and had that last segment that he had just recently recorded talking about me and my plans to misrepresent it, to falsely accuse Peaches. Because how do you misrepresent and falsely accuse somebody of evidence before our eyes? The party told you to deny the evidence of your eyes. It was their final wish. George Orwell. 1974 guys remember that quote take it with you everywhere in life the party told you to deny the evidence of your eyes it was their final wish this is a category leo convoy is 1984 thank you this is a category of uh hypocrisy leo convoy is coming into deny the evidence of your eyes what's up ember he knew that I was going to be discussing Peaches from Xeranthropy. He no doubt rushed to have her put out that thread a day before. I can't get and over then recorded that. I literally cannot get over it. This dude literally had minors living with him, bro. Because of daddy issues. He pseudo-adopted them. You're so beautiful, Iris. You know that? I hope you never, never get touched by any of these fucking weirdo creeps. That part for the conundrum video. So if you need any more fucking evidence proving that this is just damage control and that it has been from the beginning, here you go. Hey! Help with the drama dispute, despite the fact that these people should not have targeted a kid in general, or the prevention of false accusations being brought about really isn't on the level of... Leo, you target kids all the time, bro, with your moral high ground and your high horse. ...which is why the logs weren't immediately come through in their entirety. Whilst we did find Peach's messages, I didn't consider them to be a massive issue worth addressing immediately. While that was my opinion at the time, it obviously needs to be looked into more, which is what's being done now that Crystal brought them to my attention again. Crystal poured through them and found some things that concerned them. So we got in call and started talking about it. Are you expediting the work process of your research to another person? It's called a telephone game, Leo. It's called a telephone game. This is the first time Peach has heard about this. I wasn't, like, hiding it or anything. <laughs> Damn, Greg. <laughs> Who the fuck is crying? When a coon started asking me about, like, MCK stuff, I didn't even remember what that even meant. Oh no, Akuma's some big bad guy. What's up, Advent? If you're gonna put yourself out there, and you're gonna cry over some questions, maybe this place isn't for you. Maybe. Maybe you're not quite all there and should have the faculties enough to know not to go. I'm so tired of motherfuckers crying in calls. Stop it. Stop it. 
Dude needs bigger gloves. That's not good for blood flow. Like, how fucking fat do you have to be? This sh fucking fat on his wrist, bro. <laughs> Dude's got hot dogs for fingers. Then, like, when he did, when I did finally remember, I only remembered a couple people who were in that. Funnily enough, Crystal made it clear that what we found of Peach is conducting herself inappropriately around minors was nothing too bad, just something that would give Omnia and Akumu more ammo. And it wasn't something they were too concerned about, and Crystal had the full logs. And Crystal did voice that to Peaches as well as soon as they joined the call. No, I just, I'm stressed out because I don't remember. This bitch is annoying me, bro. These motherfuckers, these motherfuckers have no problem banding together over there in that community to shit on any one of us. To shit on any other little kid, bro. They have no problem going after them. Leo has no problem making all these videos. And these are the same motherfuckers that are crying on stream. It's the same issue I had with Doug. Although it's resolved, you can't go around making fun of people and then when people make fun of you, cry about it. Right? It's the same issue I had with Huggy. Huggy ran, right? He, he cries when people start making fun of him. Like, you can't, you can't be doing that, bro. And Leo is literally doing the same thing. Like, he's still running from me. He still refuses to address me. You see my DMs, Leo. I'm there. You know I'm there. I still want you to answer for the slug stream, bro. I still want you to answer. You still have yet to answer for that. You hypocritical, narcissistic loser, bro. <laughs> and one of the victims that moved in with him says that he does not shower. I, you, you can look at his fucking fingers. He does, this man is, does not take care of himself. It's not only that. When you see his hair in the shot, you can see dandruff and oily hair. Dog, oh, just take a shower, bro. Every time I shower, I always put a hat on. Look at this, bro. Look, look at this, bro. Pantene damage and repair, brothers. Just use some Pantene on that thing. You got oily, greasy hair? Use some Pantene. My hair is naturally greasy and oily as fuck. I'm pretty sure most people's hair is, right? This shit will go anywhere. Literally anywhere. It's not hard. Wash the body and hair one day, wash the body the second day, and then wash the hair and body the next day. I wash my hair every other day. Just because, I, one, I play a lot of sports. Two, my shit just gets naturally greasy. I get sweaty in video games, and I'm just sitting in the chair stewing in filth. Bro, just take a shower, bro. Take a fucking shower. What's up, Kangalope? Hello, your hair looks danger-free. This is true. I am very paranoid about being out in public and doing one of these things and then just shit falling on, like, maybe somebody else's phone, some lap. Maybe I got food in front of me, bro. I get paranoid about that shit. How do people not get paranoid about that shit? That's so weird. Leo is literally a law cow. Leo is Wish.com Boogie, but even more of a bitch than Boogie. You know what I'm saying? This is fucking weird. I just gave him the voice. I can't get past the fat fingers, bro. Me personally, I don't buy that for a Head and shoulders. Second. Head and shoulders got... literally four fucking dollars at the Dollar Tree, bro. Who does, like, come on, bro. Guys do, and you genuinely think that she has no memory of it, that's a okay. All right, we can have that disagreement there. But I'm not buying it for a fucking second, and I'll tell you why. I have approached several people that were either in the FCK or associated with it. And I'm not saying associated to say that they were involved or roped them in or. Nah, nah, if you're in the FCK server, bro, you're on watch, bro. You're on my watch list. You're on the hit list for commentary, bro. You're there. You're posted up and about to get roasted. We're looking into all of you fucks, bro. Every single one of you fuckers in that FCK server, I we got a log going, bro. We got all of you on watch. If you're watching this right now and you are associated or have been associated with the FCK server, we on your ass, boy. We are on your ass. Or blame them or anything. Just that they knew Dude, about Dude, fucking awesome. I love him. It, or were associated with many of the people in it. And I've been told that they had no fucking idea. So, like, it's imagine. Imagine he's putting together Goku, right? And we see a roach come out the top of the corner, disappear out of the frame, bro. It would just be so telling. Bro, th he just looks like he smells. It existed. Despite the fact that this was an ArtCC group, a private little click attached to several other ArtCC private little clicks, but somehow had no idea. Or I was told the server They're no all spying existed, on each other, it too. It was deleted, or that it never fucking existed. If I talked about it publicly, their audience told me I was a liar, a conspiracy theorist, a schizo. What I believe is that each of these people involved with it 
wanted this to just fade away like it never fucking happened. To be left what in the past server? and never discussed or known about publicly. Which is really fucking ironic because all of these people have no problem lambasting other people for shit they've done. Or falsely accusing people. <laughs> Can we socially ban this idea of adult adoption? It's got to be the most cringe shit I've ever heard. Yes! 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 Socially ban it. Yes! Yes! What if Leo just morphed into a big human-sized cockroach? What if Leo is that thing from Men in Black? You guys know what I'm talking about? That giant alien cockroach thing that took the husk of this human farmer dude and was over here like the whole time, bro. And he's slowly, slowly, when he's adopting these kids, he's seeking his fucking tiny little spincer, the little pincer things, into their brain, sucking, sucking their IQs out of their skulls as we speak, bro. And then inputting the commands to have them repeat and spew the same shit narrative of this pedophile and pedophile hunter has, bro. Imagine, if you will, this was his plan all along. World domination with degeneracy and anime. Dude, I'm onto something. Video coming soon. Video coming soon. People for shit. And then just More lambasting sugar. them for that. Crucifying them for it. But the second there's a conversation about the weird, hypocritical shit they get up to that contradicts their whole little sanctimonious performance, it's the end of the fucking world. Dear God. Just look at the Nezi monster call. She couldn't remember anything when it came to the false accusations and claims that she had to leap through. All of a sudden, people just stop forgetting things. All of a sudden, no, nobody know nothing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. All of a sudden, nobody don't know nothing. That's what happens. Gymnastics. People get confronted. They don't know nothing. Gymnastics and hurdles to even accuse me of. But somehow, she could remember very specifically me fucking with her. Not anything to do with her falsely accusing me. It's like when... Uh, it's like when Huggy threw us, me and Bad Dog, under the bus, bro. And he didn't remember nothing. But he can remember very vividly what happened before that. I love you, Huggy, but come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Me or falsely accusing someone of sexual harassment. Nothing to do with that. She's got no memory of that. Not even any memory Nothing. of her continuously lying about it. What? Somehow. But she's got a pristine, perfect memory about me being in her Twitch chat in 2020. You don't remember these chats taking place because, you know, it's such a little bit of your life. And. That I, I can't. Well, I can give you that benefit of the doubt. And you literally could have had a video of anything, bro. Like, I, can, I literally cannot watch this. Crystal said they understood Aaron didn't remember these things and told them that there was no need to take immediate accountability. Let's let's work out next six hours, okay? Next uh, six upcoming hours. Well, it could be longer if you want, but I think six hours is a good time. Okay, I'm not going to cap. I do build things too. I love building Lego. Let me, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I'm not going to cap. I'm a big Harry Potter nerd. So you, all, you already know, bro. You already know I had to put together a part of Hogwarts. You know what I'm saying? But oh, look at these doors. They even open up, bro. They like slide open and shit. The forbidden room, right? Or the room of requirement. Excuse me. Excuse me. Like, you already know I'm on that wave, bro. But I would never, never have that shit cross my mind. Me and my wife build these things, right? Just for fun. A little, a little get together. Sometimes we don't even do that. We'll go do painting with a twist, right? I would never think to put a camera down and talk about some serious topics while I'm literally putting together a toy. Come on. First half an hour to an hour, you know, we're going to finish this chat up, you know, all that happy stuff. And then within that time, you're going to be with your friends. You can compose yourself, okay? You're going to, you know, come back. Compose you know, yourself. Where you are, calm your mind down and everything like that. Then you can go <laughs> over what has been sent, what has been shared, what has been talked about. My so... They're worried about everything in the FCK server getting out. And this person's response is to cry. Crying? My point and the point that you want to do a Goku model? That's and fine. You talk to you and your friends and work out, okay. Gotta be 13. How am I making a post about this? And you can make hundreds of graphs if you need to within that time, you know, how to phrase this best. And if you need me to comment on it, I'm more than happy to help you write that topic post as well, okay? When we went through the logs, we found Peaches making inappropriate comments in the server, a space that had minors in it due to the lack of age gating and roles to distinguish minors from adults. Yet? All right. Yet, 
Will you disavow hopeless peaches? Peaches never posted anything pornographic, nor had a sexual conversation with anyone they knew was a minor. Yes, there were minors. That's a lie. Straight up lie. Hopeless Peaches knew they were a minor. Ladies and gentlemen, ding, ding, ding. Number one, we have our first definitive lie that we have actual proof, actual evidence for. Because Hopeless Peaches goes on later to admit herself. Oh, they were weird. They were all minors talking about this at the time. At the time. that Inferring that they knew at the time they were minors, bro. Come on. Come on. Crying and say they don't remember. Gay as bro this isn't like some actual like assault abuse like there are motherfuckers that get jumped in the street bro i can understand crying at the police station i don't remember what they look like uh, understandable this is a discord this is online this is the equivalent of going into a fortnite or call of duty lobby and someone saying hey i got your ip address and then you breaking down and all that's so dumb bro Y'all grew up on the internet fucking bottle fed, spoon fed. When I grew up on the internet, it was a free for all. Anything could happen. They just find your fucking mouth out of nowhere. You could get hit offline. That shit was so fucking common. So common. Miners around, but Peaches never. I just don't get this fucking safe gate narrative, bro. However, Peaches you can't, you literally cannot be online and think that you're always going to be 100% safe. It's not possible. It's not like a country, bro, where you, where, you know, you can live in a high scale, you know, fucking gated community and expect that. The internet, anyone can get on there. It doesn't matter where you are. Anyone from anywhere can get on there. You're not safe. I don't, I'm so tired of this fucking spoon fed narrative that you're safe online. No one will attack you. That's bullshit, bro. Just recognize their past behaviors Get tougher skin. and it was reasonably distraught hearing about this. No one has claimed that Peaches has sent porn, and no one is saying that she had sexual conversation. Kobe Beef, RCC people tend to expect the internet to hold their hand the entire time. I don't, yeah, I, I literally don't agree with that, bro. It's the same, th these are the, it's the equivalent of the gamers who complain about Dark Souls being too hard because it doesn't hold their hand. Dark Souls is literally meant to. For you to go through trials and tribulation, overcome the odds. Your odds and likelihood of actually succeeding in Dark Souls is very small, minute. But it's that willpower, sure skill and investment that you overcome adversity and odds and come out the other end stronger, more defined, right? It's the same thing with internet drama. It makes and breaks you. Same thing when you, all these people want to be famous, right? But nobody actually wants to put the work in, bro. These people want to sell their art. But if you criticize their art, they break down and everything like that. A musician artist will get rejected a million times before they make it big. And none of these people told them that because they all grew up with these teachers and parents saying, you could be whatever you want in life. You could do whatever you want in life. You, you, you deserve it. This is yours, right? It's not true. It's not true at all. With my safe space, the entire dude, point is that AOL instant chat messenger rooms. Do you guys remember that shit, bro? I do. I was so I was probably five or six, right? And I would like I would do the AOL. I, okay, I have the Windows ninety eight machine where I played Doom on because my older brother had the Windows Vista machine, and he would be in the AOL chat rooms, and I'd always want to get involved with him. And these motherfuckers would just straight up bully me. Hours and hours at a time, bro. RuneScape, bro. So I got crafty with RuneScape, right? They would, my brother would literally log into my account. He's 10 years older than me. Log into my account. Steal all my shit uh, every fucking day, bro. He'd steal all my shit, trade it to himself, bro. So I got crafty. I would li literally plug in a little ghost key in the back of the USB drives in school. And then, you know, I'd trade items with the other students, my, my colleagues. Go home, look at their login information, steal that shit for myself. Dark Souls story out. It's like, bro, like, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. Maybe we grew up differently. I'm not even like old. I'm a 98 kid, right? I'm, I was born in 1998. I'm not even that old. But yet, somehow, these people who are 10 years younger than me grew up way differently than me. It's fucking weird. The internet. Ugh. How? That she knew that porn was being sent in a chat that had minors in it. She, she knew. knew of at least one minor in this chat. At least one. And she had no, 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 Kumo, Kumo, Kumo. There were two. She knew exactly that there were two, actually. I think, I think Akuma made a mistake. There was actually two. I don't remember either of their names, but there were two because they also were sending each other the logs back and forth. Yet you and her are, have gotten onto other people, not for doing the act, but simply knowing about the act and doing nothing about it, and saying nothing about it. That's the point, and you know that. But you keep trying to direct the conversation as, well, Beaches didn't send any porn in there, and she didn't have sexual conversations It with doesn't matter, bro.
It doesn't matter. Let's do a clip of saying, oh, I was on Epstein Island. I knew what was going on, but I wasn't taking any part of it, bro. You, you're an accomplice. I, I didn't know they were robbing a bank. I was just a driver, bro. You're an accomplice, bro. It doesn't matter. You're an accomplice. I'm so tired of this fucking narrative. Oh, I was in the GC, but I didn't know what was actually going on. That doesn't work anymore. Especially nowadays. When we're playing this fucking, this blame game now online, especially between the, the commentary communities. It doesn't work anymore. That excuse, null and void. If you're in a group chat, you better know what group chat you're in. If you're in a server, you better know what server you're in. You can't just willy-nilly join any server now because there are doctors, pedophiles, rapists, all these fucking weirdos, bro. That's not an excuse anymore. Either do your homework or don't get yourself involved in the community. That's all I got to say about that. You are responsible for the outcome of the people you surround yourself with. Because eventually, they're just a reflection of you. I know we don't do the guilt by association thing, but come on. In reality, we all do it. No one has said she did. No one has said that. And you know that. What Lyo is doing is... Somebody, somebody mod Sligans. <laughs> Stephen Hawking, Midget Math, Epstein Island. Dude hit all the, all the trigger words. Making a completely pointless clarification to an argument or a talking point that no one is fucking making. And he's doing this to seem like he's actually addressing it when he's, he's not. not. He's actually distracting from the main fucking talking point, which is the hypocrisy. This upset was present throughout the entire call. I don't need to drag. I love that he said hypocrisy. Dude, I fucking love Akumo nail on the head, bro. Because if this was a, say this was our group, right? And this got sent to Leo, right? How differently would he be reacting towards this? Knowing that he's an internet vigilante and pedophile investigator slash hunter slash toy reviewer slash toy builder player, whatever the fuck you are. Imagine how differently he would have responded to that controversy of us, of us spreading CP and, and sending other NSFW images to minors in a similar disco. Imagine how differently he would have approached this and attacked it and saw it from a different angle, right? Imagine how differently that was, that would be. Because we've already seen that before. We've already seen that side of Leo. And now it's happening in his backyard. He doesn't seem aggressive about it. I don't see him on the chair with his fucking glass of wine and his, his lion mask on. I don't see any of that stuff. I'm not seeing any of the same energy, bro. It, it's fucking do as I say, not do as I do type energy, bro. And it's, I just don't follow it. I don't, I don't follow it, bro. Same thing. I, I just don't agree to that. I don't, I don't buy into that mentality. Drag this out to make it believable. The choppy clips to are all my, to, to all my friends out there too, that are in commentary. We talk about this all the time. I hold you guys to a higher standard than everybody else, which is why I'm so hard on some of my friends. I know some of them think I'm attacking them. Call me an ass if you will. I hold everyone else that I consider close to me in this community to a higher standard just because I have way more respect than them than Spurgy 102.0 or whatever the fuck his name is. You know what I mean? Press Peaches was in. We explained everything to Crystal, including that Peaches was still under the control of their groomer when they were active in the server, which left them having learned their kind of behavior as normal and desirable, even if their groomer wasn't present in the server. This wasn't used as an excuse, merely to give context to what kind of situation Peaches was in back then and how it influenced their actions. If Slumhouse was that, what? Then I think I knew their age as 16 or 17. Yeah, but you were also. <laughs> You were also dealing with the after effects of being groomed because you were still in contact with No, 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 We don't make excuses, bro. We don't make excuses. Okay, he killed the guy. But remember, he was also dealing with the after effects of withdrawal from the drugs. So come on, we got to let him off. You know what I mean? Come on. Come on. We got to let him off. It doesn't work. That's not an excuse, Leo. That's not an excuse. Not an excuse, bro. Just because she was groomed. Does not give her the right to say, oh, yeah, I forgot they might have been 16, 15, 14. I, oh, I, you know, I was groomed. Like, what can I say? I was groomed. That doesn't make sense. Not here. And if the shoe was on the other foot once again, you would have attacked this way differently, bro. You would have fucking had a field day, bro. You would have chowed out. I don't know how much more food you could fit in yourself, but you would have fucking ate on that dinner plate, bro. I swear. So full of himself, bro. But he's still hungry. Look at how fat he is. Because this is what, right before the door stuff happened? 
Oh, exactly. for fuck's sake. It's perfect. It's like excusing Ted Bundy because he got did as a kid. It's like excusing who was the fucking cannibal kid because his fucking parents had a divorce. You, It's not. It's not. Uh, fucking who was the clown killer guy? Forgot his name. He stuffed people in the floorboards or some shit like that. He was touched as a kid, and so he went on to touch other boys through his construction company, and then eventually killed them. Right? That's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. Sure, you might be a little fucked up, but that's not an excuse to actually commit acts of crime, negligence, arrogance, ignorance. You can't do that. It's just unacceptable. Especially, Leo, when you hold everyone else outside of your community to a standard. With dealing with you know, pornography, NSFW images, art images, CP, pedophiles, all this other kind of stuff. How is it fair to dehumanize a alleged pedophile online while you're running your investigations? Yet, completely ignore the ones in your backyard. They slipped into you, the little cracks of your community. And somehow, they passed under your radar. Your your intel, intellectual radar of finding these pedophiles, is somehow they've slipped under the cracks, bro. And you're just like, oh, fuck. Guess I forgot about this one, but they were groomed before, so I can understand. You, you just sweep that under the rug, that's fucking gay, bro. That's fucking, that's dumb. Dang. You know what? I'll entertain this. I'll entertain what? this Daisy, topic. that's right. Even though I find it irrelevant, I'll entertain it for just a second. She made a joke about moral this grandstanding. being Moral grandstanding. That, keyword, moral grandstanding. I hate moral grandstanding figures, right? I will call a motherfucker out when I feel like they've wronged somebody else, right? I will say yada, 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 and I, I'll moral grandstand too, right? Because I, I, I think I'm better than you. And then I say, I'm a narcissistic asshole. I think I'm better than you. I'm cooler, better looking, smarter, better at Call of Duty than you, right? Like, I'll just straight out own that, right? If you if they, if you ask them that, they're like, uh, well, no, I'm actually more fair in the sense that I'm not biased. It's bullshit. I'm biased. You're biased. And we'll moral grandstand against each other, bro. Like, come on. You got to be real. The only way you're... The only way you take a W is if you be real with yourself. I'm not perfect. Uh, everyone else in my chat is not perfect. But that's what makes us so unique. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm about to go off on a fucking tangent about moral grandstanding. We're only 10 minutes into this. Possibly used to expose them. Clearly, she had some fucking idea as to how weird it was for them to spam porn in the chat. On top of being aware at that time of at he least ran one my No, no, no. So... Leo has been caught running multiple times, especially around our little community. What he came on Slugstream a while ago, and he basically said, "Slug, if you do yada yada yada, I'll disavow you." Well, Slug did yada yada yada, and he never disavowed him. Uh, he ran from any questioning, uh, and he tried to morally grandstand against P. Paul Riveter. Uh, it pretty much said, "Sit down and shut up, old man." Your time was over, our time is now type vibe. Like, he was morally grandstanding over Peepaw. One, okay, every, like Peepaw says, everyone deserves to get their licks right in time, in due time. But, you can't morally grandstand over something you have no idea about, Leo. He pretty much went in there and said, I'm holier than thou. And my bias and how I view the world is better than yours, Peepaw. Over pretty much a nothing burger because Peepaw was fighting slug and we all told peepaw don't do this because you're stooping to his level leo convoy however saw this was like listen old man you're just a bully a narcissistic prick you have no idea what you're talking about you're old and sour all this like implications and stuff how i read it right that's how i read it and i'm just like bro leo is a fucking loser so he ran because everything he said on that stream was wrong and it literally came out that everything he said was wrong. Everything he stood for was wrong. And he ran. Never answered anybody. I think he made one tweet. Or maybe like four seconds in a video or something. I'm not quite sure. But he ran. Never answered any of my questions. Never answered anybody else's questions. He just ran. And wanted nothing to do with us. He literally peeped his head into the door. Said, hey, you're all a bunch of, a bunch of weirdos. And then fucking ran before he got his ass beat, bro. Like, fuck out of here. What is that? So yeah, that's how Leo got on our radar. And then all this stuff came out. Because once again, everything he stood for has gone out the window. Do as I say, not do as I do. And we don't fucking, we don't fuck with that narrative, right? Everybody's got the same standard here. You're all held up to the same standard. And it's not even a big standard. Because you could be a piece of shit in commentary. Don't be a doxer, right? Don't be a fucking liar, right? Don't run from drama when you're calling and shitting on other people, right? 
Don't be a fucking pussy and run away. And the biggest one of all, don't be a fucking pedophile. Like, that's the bar. You could literally, <laughs> you could be a fucking murderer. And I don't think anybody would care in commentary if you were a murderer or not. People would still probably play Fortnite and Minecraft with you in this fucking community. They do not care, bro. They do not care. The bar is so fucking low for acceptance in our community. And yet somehow, these people seem to go lower and lower and lower. It, it boggles my mind. Also, don't bring an internet drama into the real world. Thank you. Bayside Park, thank you so much. Bayside Park just summed up the 43 minutes of me streaming here in fucking like an eight-word sentence, bro. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you. Fortnite with Gacy. Let's go. Dude, imagine. Oh, shit. If Ninja could get Travis Scott, I can get John Wayne Gacy on a Fortnite live stream. I got to write that down. That'd be fucking sick. Dude, imagine that. If I go live with Fortnite, just know I'm with John Wayne Gacy. Lighter being in that server, which was Slimmer's. You know what? Even if we run with that and she was under the after effects of her groomer, what about 2021? What about 2022? What about 2023? Mm -hmm. All that time. Unless you're telling me that the Four second years. she left the server, like Four she just years. dumped every memory, every conscious memory. Wait, John Wayne Gacy's actually dead? Fuck. What about Ted Bundy? No, he got the electric chair, right? He fried. Shit, bro. Out of her brain of that server. She just, she just dumped it all immediately. She had no recollection in the end of 2020 after she was no longer under the after effects of her groomer. What about 2021? She still had no memory then. Are we really pushing it that far? <laughs> this was before Cosmodork, so you wouldn't even come to realization of what happened to you. Like, listen to how he's talking right now. Because that's when you started questioning things. Crystal originally told Peaches to take a break and comforted them. So we left the call with the understanding I would handle the situation as Crystal had agreed to within the call. You didn't handle the situation. In fact, you mishandled the situation so bad. You fumbled the bag, Leo. You fumbled the bag so hard and spilled all your beans and marbles to all of us. And now we're counting it up and it, this shit don't add up. This shit do not add up, bro. You're making excuses for someone ignorantly forgetting the reminders in a discord something you are very adamant about something that you convict people online for it's not adding up and now you're playing cover-up no 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 you're like the government at roswell right now there were no aliens we weren't shooting at anything what are you talking about anyways uh did you guys hear about mexico they want to send missiles over here to cuban missile crisis this is fucking crazy fucking crazy i don't think mexico mexico and cuba are two different places excuse me Excuse me, I, I never really, I was never good at, uh, geology. Oh, and that's the staff you have to give the back. I'll get it handled. Okay. All get right. it handled! Because... Oh, Peaches, you should be pissed, bro. You should be pissed. Look at how he handled it. <laughs> He's fucking building Goku in his spare time, bro. Oh, I, I'll get it Just... handled and I can get, I can easily get this video up for him. Even if I stay up all night, I can get it done. You've done such a big up job handling this so far, Lyle. Horrible, Really bro. fucking fantastic. This comes up during the thread and second call later. Now, before we continue, I want to note that a lot of people seem to think I'm not being consistent. That I'm not holding a Peaches accountable for this incident four years ago like I have others. To that... Let's see. Let's see what he says here. This is key. This is key. And I say... How? So far, no one actually managed to give me a basis of comparison, which is kind of required if you want to call me a hypocrite since I need to be inconsistent in another situation in order to be a hypocrite. Aside from that... Let's look at the videos where he bashes people for the same and similar situations. Okay, Enabler, uh, it's a creep, uh, Vindictive, the, the, the misanthropy let's go uh f e f e ghost is a freak da, da, da. what what's a freak is, is hopeless peach is not a freak because of this uh is hopeless peach is not an enabler because of this what what is the definition how do i get a video made on me predator pressured into push-ups okay fucking weird weird cartoonish obsessed cretin like, look at all these fucking... You're literally bashing all these people for similar accusations that Hopeless Peaches is in. Maybe she's not the actual, you know, predator or pedophile. But! 
definition still there. She fits the mold. Neither Peaches nor I have ever demanded account deletion or expulsion from random server people. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I got yelled at more for teabagging Coyote Lovely in a game of Halo than Peaches has been for being inappropriate around minors. Is this, is that true? Like, an in-game action? Where your character, all they're doing is hitting a crouch command? And yet, and yet, Hopeless Peaches is in, let me, let me, let me explain this for you guys. Hopeless Peaches is in a Discord, right? A Discord. All these motherfuckers are in this Discord, right? In a Discord where they're sharing actual CP, NSFW content, right? Maybe not like actual CP, like art drawn CP. Let me reframe, like lolly and stuff. The inferences are there. And on top of that, this these art things, these, these pictures, if you will, are being drawn and produced by minors, 16, 17, 15 year olds, right? And then on top of that, you have the other people who are of age at 18 that are flexing. Oh, LOL. Guess you just turn guess who turns 18 in three months? Aha. Been 18, freshly 18. Like they're out there flexing. Like they just became an adult, right? But my boy, my boy Jibs over here. Tea bags, some random nine-year-old in a game, and that, that in itself is the biggest sin you could have committed. That's fucking whack. No one is giving me Hope an answer. No a <laughs> That's a load of fucking horseshit. We've given you an example multiple times. You and shit, we've just given him an example like five times here. Peaches both got onto the people involved in the Camilla group chat. Hold on, I'm gonna. I gotta do this before I forget. I gotta subscribe, like everybody, everybody. Please go subscribe to Akumo. Please, this guy is phenomenal, phenomenal. Thank you, Akumo. If Akumo somehow sees this, bro, thank you so much. Thank you so much, bro. For knowing about what was going on in it and not saying anything. Even the people that weren't directly involved or barely did anything in the Jibs, server. Jibs, 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 add me on Discord. Add, add me on Discord. I really want to see that video when it goes live. I want to watch your video. I want to watch Kadonic Echo's video. Uh, please let me know. Please keep me involved with that. I really, really want to see uh, your statement and everything like that because I I need to get the hammer down on these people, bro. And as if uh, all of us guys, the, the more of us commentary folk, out over here, I don't even know what kind of commentary or like commentary, commentary or some shit like that. The more of us that start talking about this, the more the rest of commentary and all the other fucking weirdos online see this, and the more the fucking fire goes to his feet. You know what I'm saying? You all were upset about because they didn't say anything about it. Yet Peaches knew, and so did many of the other people, even if they didn't participate in it. And yet here you are making even excuses I know. for Peaches. I started people this two days ago. Or Vita were actually targeting children, grooming them, and targeting them with sexual content, and that's why they were called out the way they are. People like Artie, who is on record dating multiple minors, complaining about how slow they have to go. Or Veer, who admits to sending his nudes to the mod squad in the GT crew, people he knew were minors. Now, these same people are in the FCK server. In the FCK Discord, remember this. Unless kids were specifically targeted, when I run into servers like the FCK, I'd rather snatch up the mods and get them to properly age gate or get better admins. While personal responsibility is important, the people in charge have to be held to a higher standard. We had someone pull the metadata from the server to determine the roles, and none were made specifically for kids. We'll go more in depth when I cover the FCK as a whole. Suffice it to say, it's not inherently what it appears to be from the standpoint currently given. There are people that need to be held accountable, absolutely, and yes, that does include Peaches. Slimmers was in the chat. Slimmers was a minor. Peaches knew that. However, Peaches never spoke sexually to them, and the art rooms made specifically for them were made after Peaches left the server. So what about the fact that she was invited back to the server exactly. and she joined back from Toasty Vanilla? And Peaches did. She literally left just to join back. And if you're telling me you get invited back to a Discord where you've previously left that you don't check out to see what's changed, who's new, who are the new characters in this court, you're a liar. Every single one of us does this. Did say something inappropriate to a kid, telling Mimi Diggs to make the boobs on their art bigger, but by Mimi's recollection, Peaches and her rarely interacted, and Peaches didn't know her age. Unlike, say, Toasty, who knew all the ages of the minors and invited them in as Okay, okay. They didn't know the they didn't know the actual age, okay? Keep this in mind. But remember 
Leo said they have to be held responsible. You should be doing your homework, right? There is a higher bit of responsibility for that now. Now keep in mind, let's see if he just lets this go or if he keeps that same hardcore standard that he's holding all these mods and other people in the server to. As the FCK was invite only and yet still spam the chat with porn. I'm in no way going to defend Toasty because he's a fucking gooner. With that said, Lyo, I thought that the people who were older should know better. Toasty was 18, Peaches was 20, and- Sup, I am a guy who is friends with one of Leo's victims, that victim being Dreadful Jack's Games. I've heard that name, I've seen that name before. I'm not familiar with the story though. Look at them fat ass hands, fucking caps locks. <laughs> Look at them fat ass hands. <laughs> and several other members were older. You love to whip out age when people do something wrong and say- I literally cannot get past the hands, I'm sorry. Like, how fat do you have to be for your body to say, hey, this is where we need to start storing fat. It's like that fucking girl with the fucking fat on her forehead. Like, how big do you have to be? What the fuck, bro? Come on. They should be old enough to know better. Especially if there are several people involved in a situation, you'll say that the older party should have known better because of their age, and yet somehow... That, that standard of yours is amiss in this situation. That's what I'm saying, bro. And when I get to the FCK logs themselves, I am absolutely going to be talking about her, too. And Peaches has been held accountable, which is why they took public accountability for her actions. I don't think he now, talked about her yet. how exactly has Peaches been held accountable? How did she take accountability? Are we talking about her Twitter thread that conveniently left things out of it? Like the fact that she knew that Slimmers was in there, who was a minor? How exactly has she taken accountability? And that she's taking accountability about this whole thing if you're lying about it and downplaying it to defend her and exactly. make excuses for it. This is what I mean by these people like Lyo and the art commentary community throw the word accountability around yet can't actually explain what the fuck it means to them, how exactly they intend to hold or someone be accountable, accountable themselves. How someone has taken accountability. They just throw it around because their stupid fucking audience will eat that shit right up. Apologize and made a continuous effort to be well, a better person. Akumo, to play the defense of Leo Convoy, most of their audience seems like they're either children or mid 20s brain dead children who have had little to no social interactivity in real life and have the mental capacity of a 15 year old kid they have yet to come to terms with reality their mid-20s pushing 30s maybe even 40 uh and life just ain't ever going to be the same for them when they were a kid so that is the community in itself that is the viewers and watch party of leo convoy that's the community that's the community. Leo also tried to call Dred's school, but they laughed at him. Yeah, I know. So this motherfucker calls a school, right? Basically because homie said, oh, I'm in a gang. I'll shoot you. <laughs> this motherfucking dude called the school. All right. Imagine if you will. Imagine if you will. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, this is... Uh, Wisconsin Maritime Charter School. Who is this? And fucking, you got Leo Convoy. Hey, uh, are you aware of one of your students' online activity? Uh, we had a little spat in the Discord, and he was just yelling slurs and said he was going to shoot me if I showed up to his house. Said he was in a gang. And then, the, keep in mind, it's a middle school, right? This is me. Okay, are you a parent of one of the students at my school currently, or are you the parent of said student? That's how dumb you look, Leo. Leo's like, oh, no, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm an internet vigilante, bro. I'm a pedophile hunter. Again, like, okay, so why are you talking about one of my kids? Quite literally, a middle school kid. That makes no sense. Why call... Why, bro? Well, I'm just, I figured that he's going to shoot up the school. Like, okay. And you know this how? Because he said it in a Discord, in a heated discussion where you said you were going to show up to his house? Like, like, <sighs> bro, what? Bro, like, this is, 
Like, they're so fucking brain dead, bro. Like, there's real world applications to this stuff. And then there's your internet fantasy stuff. Your echo chamber where certain things are normalized and glorified. Where in the real world, the rest of us normal people, well, I wouldn't consider myself normal. I'm fucking crazy. I'm literally doing this live stream right now. So I'm talking to myself in a room right now with no one else around. That's a little fucking crazy, right? So I'm not really normal. But it's like there's real world application for this stuff. Like if you call the police, if I called the police right now and said, hey, I have reason to believe that this guy in Montana is a pedophile. I just need to know who I need to get into contact with. They're like, okay, where are you at? Where's your place of residence? Oh, I'm from uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> I'm actually an internet vigilante. We've been tracking this guy and catfishing him for the past few months. Da, 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 da. We have reason to believe that he's going to meet up with a 14-year-old boy. And they're just going to look at you like, okay. Um, one, you need to get involved with the, the detectives. Two, uh, usually they aren't going to take any of your evidence if you didn't hire out a private investigator to look into it further, uh, because they know the law, they know the lines that they can't cross, and they know exactly what they can and can't say and ask, right? Like most of you guys don't know, if you're an undercover cop and someone asks you if you're a cop, you cannot lie if you are that undercover cop. You have to tell them, yes, I'm a cop. Because if you get them on charges, it's null and void because it said, oh, he lied about being a cop. Boom, state rest assured that man has just won his case regardless if he was trafficking women drugs guns doesn't matter it's thrown out the window because the undercover cop never let him know that he was an actual cop when the perpetrator asked if he was a cop there's certain lines you literally cannot cross somebody mod somebody mod lay us something uh blah, 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 add us moderator uh and sliggins sliggins wants mod i said sliggins should get mod all right, Sliggins is mod. Congrats. Welcome to the pack, brother. Welcome to the pack. I just got bullied to give out mod. Are you kidding me? It's my stream, my own stream. Leaving their platform by their choice. I wouldn't expect any more for what they've done. And if you do, I think you need to reassess. Besides, what more can they do? I just want, I said this last stream, I just want Leo, because he likes catching these pedophiles. Like, it seems like it's such... Such a remarkable thing to do. Such an honorable act indeed to do, right? Leo, I just want you, for once, try some real-world application, bro. Try some real-world application. Why not, if you will, do what I tried to do. Become a bail bonds enforcement agent, right? Now, you're dealing with some vile miscreant motherfuckers. People who are on bond or, or got a loan for bond. Maybe put up their house as collateral. Maybe put up their car for collateral. You're going to go in there, seize the property, go in there. Maybe they skipped court, right? Now they're a refugee on the run. You got to go in there and get them. Try some real world application. Because half the time, these are just people in a jam in life. Something happened. Maybe there's an assault battery charge they don't want to do time for. They're out on bond. They get scared. They run from the law. You don't know what's going to happen, right? Same thing with these actual investigators going to these these predators homes and stuff like that maybe try some real world application because this internet stuff i don't think is working out one just like mama max you have total of zero people behind bars zero people convicted and uh, absolutely zero people even doing community service hours with their local enforcement agencies not even a slap on the wrist zero slaps on the wrist actually you are discount mama max actually no you're exactly like Mama Max. You're just a furry that likes to play with toys online. That's what you are. It's fucking weird. An action of this caliber four years ago doesn't need to end in deplatforming, especially if that behavior was accounted for and corrected in the following years. If she's truly changed for the better and taken accountability. Wait, they don't actually have to admit that? Oh, I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a law enforcement official. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I always thought they had to admit to it or something like that just because of the entrapment laws in New York. Real world stuff like getting a real job. Hard to be involved in internet drama doing 40 hours a week. Exactly. Well, I mean, let's be real. I just got into a, uh, I got into a spat with this chick. Um, what was her name? Broadsword, right? I'm more involved in commentary than she is. I own my own business. I even work part time. Um, she wanted to make fun of my bank account. I think you could work 40 hours a week and be involved in commentary. Do the things that you want to do. 
But I think it makes you have an edge because you're smart enough to understand the disconnect between reality and real world application and this internet drama. Because when I log off, I'm going to be real. I'm narcissistic. I'm, I'm this narcissistic to believe this, right? When I log off of Twitter and I get into a fight with somebody, uh, they no longer exist when I log off. They, they're, they're not there. They're not real, right? They no longer exist. That's how narcissistic. And I feel like you got to kind of be that way. These people take this shit through and through. I wonder if they go to the grocery store and they think about this stuff all the time. Like, that's fucking crazy. They don't even go to the grocery store. They can't afford to eat. Actually, Leo probably can. Explain this. Why is it that you've had the logs for months? You yourself have admitted this multiple times. And yet, conveniently... Oh, you know what's crazy about that? I just admitted I was wrong about the cop thing, that they had to tell you that they're a cop. What's crazy, I'm accountable for my actions of what I say online. I literally did that in like 40 seconds of finding out about that. And yet, for some reason, we're still waiting, you know, days, weeks even, for Leo to admit that he was wrong, bro. Uh, it's not that hard. Just be a man about your You say some shit, you get it wrong, you apologize, you move on. It's not that hard. Everybody makes mistakes. It's not that hard. After Xeranthropy let you know that I planned on talking about peaches, she releases her thread a day before my... Seabird, according... According to another video, Leo knew about Peaches since 2022. I'll have you I'll have you know they definitely knew about that. And he's allegedly been sitting on the logs for this FCK server for months at a time. Akumo addressed that in the later video that we watched yesterday. Or two days ago, excuse me. But yeah. Either one, Leo Convoy's completely arrogant and blocking out all the hate speech on Hopeless Peaches. Or two, knows about everything going on with Hopeless Peaches and is trying to cover for a friend. Either way... Uh, your standard of what you held everyone else up to is crumbling with those two outcomes. Either you're you're a narcissistic prick who's scared of, you know, just some public lashings, or you're just a coward. It's literally that one of two options. You're either just too much of a bitch to admit that you were wrong, or too much of a coward to face the music. My premiere. Not any time sooner the second you got the logs, maybe a week or a month it, after you got Literally, it. it's not a big deal. Like, that's what I, John Bubba, on that, it's not a big deal. It's literally not a big deal. No, a day before my fucking premiere. A premiere that was set up for days ahead of time. That you oh, knew they knew it was my, coming. You knew about my FCK premiere. Me and you both know you had her release it before my premiere, and dropped your video the same day a little bit before my premiere, so that you could try and take control of the situation, so that you could control the narrative of this. If she was at all interested in accountability, she would have said something 2021, 2022, 2023. She would have said something after you got the logs. But no, she only did so a day before my premiere. After you, Lyo, knew that I planned on talking about Peach's involvement with it from Xeranthropy. You have no actual interest in accountability, and like I've been telling you all, none of these people have an interest in accountability. They think running people off the internet and making a video on someone is holding them accountable. I'm, that just sounds like bullying, bro. That just sounds like bullying with extra steps. Like, I don't know, bro. Accountability to them is just a silly little punchline that has no fuck. That's right, the fucking, we're, oh, bro, redhead, bro, we're not even gonna get into that shit, bro, okay, okay, but fuck it, uh, fuck it, you know, I'm gonna get into that, bro, hold on, hold on, you know what I'm saying, bro, Leo was defending, Leo was defending her for being his daughter, dude has no real understanding of family, let's unpack that, that statement, right, thank you, redhead, thank you, listen, this man, Leo, for those of you that don't know, he adopts pseudo, not legally. I believe she was, was she an adult? She was an adult at the time, right? No, I don't think she was. Whatever. Either way, I don't think it was some, some pedo stuff. Brings him into his home because she's having daddy issues. And he wants to be the better dad, the moral dad, right? Now, when I think of a dad, my dad, right? I had two dads. I'm adopted, by the way. My real father... I was somewhere off in some Russian camp. I don't, I don't know what he's, what he's doing. I don't even know if half that's true. Whatever my mom said. You can't trust what my birth mom says. But my adopted dad, right? Strong, stern in the way. Strong Catholic man. Strong core family values. Family comes first. Uh, when shit hits the fan, family's all you got, right? 
So, you know, bail bond or bonds, stuff that like shit goes south, you know, maybe, you know, when my cousin Rico went down in that jump fight, you hopping up in there, going to this local park, bro, taking care of business, bro, South Buffalo, you know what I'm saying? It's just family core values, right? Family is not family without disagreements, right? That's what makes family stronger. To have your differences and still come together under one last name or or by blood. And the biggest core value my father always taught me was family isn't always blood. He meant that for two reasons. One, I wasn't his actual biological kid. And two, sometimes those friends closest to you that are always around you are going to have your back more than your actual family at the end of the day. So family isn't always in blood, right? Now, Leo, I forbid Leo, has no idea what those core values are. He doesn't hold anybody to the same standard, right? Doesn't hold anyone accountable. I I doubt he ever dished out punishment once in his life. Right? He was probably picked last in high school and just said, this isn't how the world should work. Unfortunately, that's how the real world works, bro. Favoritism and good-looking people will get better jobs than you ugly, narcissistic pricks who think the world should revolve around you. Uh, you get dished out to the side because you're, you're a fucking clown, bro. You're a clown. This dude... Adopts a grown woman into his home, right? And then the wife, his real world wife, gets upset just because he's spending so much time with her on Discord. Called her a homewrecker. And he says, and I quote, you apologize to her now or I divorce you. Sir, you are taking a Discord kitten over the real world application of your wife. And when I see that, I see it more as a, a, an escape. He wants to live in that escape. He doesn't want to face the music of the real world because it's harsh. It's demeaning. They just don't understand me. So they run to these little echo chambers where everything is normalized and okay to say and do. right? And then turn around to the other public online to make themselves grandstanded. Like they're, they're holier than thou type attitudes. Like, I, Do you believe that, bro? His wife, his actual wife, the person he married in real life, a real life relation, a face-to-face -face interaction daily. He chose the Discord kitten over the actual real-world application. I'm live right now. Don't want to know. <laughs> this is Leo Convoy, guy. I walked in at the wrong one, <laughs> but I believe if anyone so this calls guy... anyone a Discord kitten, they're a bitch. So this guy, right? This guy, Leo Convoy. I'm sorry, y'all. This guy, Leo Convoy, right? Uh huh. He had pseudo adopts this adult female person, girl chick. She goes by uh fucking I forgot her name. Hopeless Peaches, right? Okay. So his real world wife is getting jealous of this girl online because him, her husband, and this girl, Hopeless Peaches, are spending too much time online together. And she calls her a homewrecker. Now, keep in mind, he also pseudo-adopted her. So now, he calls her daughter and everything like that. It was super fucking weird and cringy, right? And she calls her a homewrecker. Because she's trying to take her husband away from her and all this other kind of stuff. And Leo, the dude himself, yells at his wife and says, You apologize to her now? Or we're getting a divorce? I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, so he took the Discord oh, kid inside. <laughs> <laughs> she's sleeping. I know she's sleeping. This is the real kitten, y'all. This is the real Discord kitten. God damn. Did I not need all that? <laughs> Dude, this so, man sounds like so a beta cute. cock. Dude, he's such a fucking loser, bro. <laughs> he sounds like a beta cock. Peaches change their pronouns? That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Ooh. I'm not touching that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Dumb of ass. <laughs> I bet. But imagine, imagine, right? Imagine actually doing that. Like, could you guys actually, like, bro? I can't believe it. Fucking consistency whatsoever. What's up, now Bing? Come to the thread crystal released. Despite telling me on our first call they'd let me handle it, and we'll talk about the call I had with Crystal after the thread was released on the 26th, Crystal asked for a conversation. At the time, I let them know Peaches was on the break that Crystal suggested, and I was in a work meeting. Before waiting for any further reply or call, Crystal decided to release their thread. This thread had a lot of very loaded claims in it, and I will go through it step by step to disprove them. Recent revelation of Hopeless Peaches, a thread. I want oh, to my YouTube the recent revelation Rip. regarding Hopeless Peaches, 
they have been banned from my community as well as any communities associated with me. The fact that you made this public thread to address this when you said yourself you wanted to handle this privately is hypocritical. You said in our first call you didn't want to make a Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. All right, keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. A thread because this isn't a big deal. No, I'm saying this is what could happen. Not because I'm going to do it. So I'm not going to. This, again, this I'm I'm handling it the way I want to handle it. You know. No. Do you guys think? Nah, I'm not gonna say that. Was telling me to handle X, Y, and Z. This is how I want to. If it was bigger or if it uh, was anywhere close to what they're trying to frame it. I'm sorry. I who is this person talking right now? I hate your voice. I really do hate your voice. I know my voice is nasally and annoying and fucking the New York accent, Canadian slang or whatever the fuck I got going on. Buffalo, New York, little fuck your fucking accent up, bro. Who is this talking right now? Was dreadful Jax mentioned in the thread? Oh, I actually don't know. Can someone confirm that if they were not? It was Crystal Flame. Crystal Flame's the one talking right now. Crystal Flame, get a new voice, bro. We wouldn't be talking. We there wouldn't be talking. <laughs> All right, that's bullying. I'm sorry. I'm beating down. They're going to handle it that way. They're going to literally take this tiny bit of footage, this tiny bit of evidence, which is unseasoned at fucking best, and they're going. Are we seeing the echo chamber? Is that what the... we got? Crystal flame and Leo convoy. The echo chamber is growing. We found it. We are uncovering it. Let's go at real time. We're real time here. Haven't listened to her much, but enough to know that's not how she speaks as a woman. I know our tactics is she definitely putting on some kind of cutesy young voice, hoping the men will white knight dude. I hate when girls be doing that shit, bro. Oh, I didn't know. Shut your bitch ass up, bro. Uh, shut up. Shut up. My biggest turnoff in life, I don't know why I gotta say this, but it's just come to my head. I have to say it or I'm never gonna say it again. My biggest turnoff in life is a female or a woman who is not intelligent. I cannot stand dumb bitches. Always had this issue. Always got clowned on in middle school for it. They were like, uh, someone, so what was her name? Uh, I told you, Hillary Duff, right? I always thought she was stupid. And everyone was like, dude, she's so attractive. I always thought she was just dumb as fuck. Made her ugly to me. I don't know. I'm more attracted to the brain or some shit like that. Like if I can't talk to my girl about the Roman Empire and the fall of the Ottoman Empire, I don't want none of it, you know? The biggest thing in the world. That's why I was prompt as, you know, to make the post. Not because Hi! It needs to be said, but it's just beating them to the punch. Oh, sweet Jesus, Lyle. I have no idea why you showed this part. You're a fucking idiot. Here they are talking about making the thread that she made. So this whole call that was had was had before the thread. And here they are talking about trying to beat us, beat me to the punch on this. If you want any more fucking proof that so, this- So, that's them telling on themselves, ladies and gentlemen. If you are not paying attention, here's layman's terms. When you want to beat somebody to the punch, especially with the social dynamic, like commentary, one of two things public relations and or damage control most of the time it's both those things at the same time sometimes they're even one in the same right but then you got the ultra you know sadistic evils the public relations they just go ultra ultra evil fuck that super evil yeah what are you gonna do about it you know what i'm saying but most times it's damage control and public relations that's when you want to beat somebody else on the internet especially with the social dynamic as the commentary community or the art commentary community that's what that is they just told on themselves they literally just told on themselves it's insane to me the the fucking the liquid brain worms that they have going on and the tumors that reside within their hippocampus is insane to me was damage control and that they rushed to get a hold of the situation because they knew that I was going to be talking about Peach's involvement. Here you go. They're talking about it right now. We know that this call was had February 25th. And now that we know that they did this call before Peach has released her thread taking accountability on February 25th, there's something I'd like to point out. <laughs> Leo Convoy's victim, or excuse me, Leo Convoy's 
what what would I call the the pedophiles that he hunts? Those people are more likely to see the inside of a jail cell than Leo Convoy actually seeing the inside of a gym, bro. Just gotta say it, gotta put it out there. It's more fat shaming. Yes, I know what is sad, but it is true. Point out. Just a few minutes ago, Lyo played a clip where Peaches admitted that she knew Slimmers was a minor. Or Lyo even heard her say this. Slimmers oh, right, right. I was gonna say the same thing because the one kind of passes it up like this, bro. I know. I, just don't look at it. Just don't look at it, bro. I think I knew their age as 16 or 17. Yet Lyo then went on to say a day later. On you think it's 16 or 17. That is still a fine line uh, at 18, but they're minors. You know what I'm saying? I think they were 15 or 16 or 17. I'm not quite sure. Okay, now what are those options? Identifies them as an adult in the majority of the United States of America. So, either way, what you're trying to say is they definitely were a minor. They definitely were a minor. You just admitted it yourself. The I think they were 16 or 17 narrative no longer works because both of those age groups are uh, minors. Crazy. Uh, I think they definitely were a minor. You could have said that, and it would have meant the same exact thing. They're talking around the point. This is Politics 101. February 26th, a few hours before my premiere, in his video, that he doubted Peaches knew that there were any minors in the server. Even at the time this all doubted. happened, they were still being manipulated by said groomer. So even if Peaches was 100% aware that there were kids in the server, which, personally, I doubt. Yet he was present too. in this call, February 25th, where she admitted to I doubt, too, I doubt he's telling the truth! ...of at least one. If so, if you need any more fucking proof that Lyo has been lying, here you go. This shit's easy. You mentioned that you wanted to handle this privately in a call with Lin Lin, yet here you are, making a thread before even having a call with either of us about what you found. That's what I am planning to do, because, again, I don't, I don't want to make this... I, I'm not planning to make this public. I just want it to be privately between people kind of like adults I, 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 you said you don't want this, this to be a drama fest video. yet run around telling people about this going on making this entire thread tldr i want to keep most of this private you know handle it adult to adult not a big fucking drama fest apart from butters butters need to be publicly called out you know exposing kids to that shit that's disgusting not only that, you actively tell people to wait for all the spicy details, and you like getting to make vague tweets about the thread you were about to drop. This individual, whom I once trusted and admired, played a significant public role during the GT situation. However, I have recently uncovered disturbing information that has shattered my perception of them entirely. I was the third party who Hopeless Peaches was talking about with the FCK chat. I conducted an impartial investigation into the matter. I confronted Hopeless Peaches directly, expressing my disappointment and labeling Based. them a hypocrite. You do leave out that you told them, with your own words, to take time to distress and comforted them. You also leave out that you said you understood why they behaved that way and- Objection hearsay. Uh, also objection relevance, your honor. This guy's- You're nitpicking, bro. The message, the core message. So I can confront somebody and be like, hey, take your time. If this is too much, you don't have to talk. You don't have to speak. But if I have them in that call and they refuse to speak, silence is sometimes more powerful than the actual words they are saying. Just remember that. Or sometimes you just let them keep speaking and they make a bigger fool of themselves. They fumble on their own words. Maybe they contradict themselves. Call out their own hypocrisies by doing so. And either way, it's a win-win. If you have a shoe in, just let the other person handle it however they want to. If you confront somebody online, especially, especially here in commentary, they say, hey, take your time. It's okay. Uh, no one's here to attack you. Because I'm not. I'm going to let you do it yourself. And then after that, I'll let everyone else decide what to do about it. That's a normal tactic. I think you're nitpicking now. And that there was no need for immediate that, accountability. That might, that might be hypocritical for me to say because I'm also nitpicking, but I don't give a f bro. I'm a, literally a savage. What we're saying, what he's saying, is that you don't need to deal with it right in this second, right in this 10 minute, 20 minute segment. You right now just need to focus on your breathing, focus on composing yourself. I believe there could be an opportunity for growth and learning, but they needed to face the music for their actions. Yep. As I pushed for them to make a public statement, which they eventually did, more information came to light. 
It has been revealed that when Hopeless Peaches was 18 or 19 years old, they engaged in inappropriate sexual behavior and gatekeeping trauma with minors within the Glitchtail Amino community. Sexual truth and dare games. An Undertale staple, it seems, eh? Here's where Crystal starts trying to frame Peaches as a predator based on really shaky evidence. Okay, really shaky evidence, but it was actually... Actually... A screenshot? Proving once again that Hopeless Peaches was in the Discord. And then once again, we saw the screenshot of her joining said Discord back after they allegedly left when there was no porn in it. Just know. Dreadful Jax. I need to look up more about Dreadful Jax. What's up, JFA? Psychic, I'm in contact with both Crystal and Jax. Crazy. And make no mistake. That's how Crystal's trying to frame it. Like here, where they just say Peaches was being sexually suggestive around children. With no context or even, you know, the truth. Liar. You and me, and I would like to think everyone in What's this the truth? call would scream and shout at anyone who is sexually suggestive around children and or partake, partakes in sexual truth or dare games. That shouldn't be given, like, it, it, sh it shouldn't, it's a glitch how amino, that just screams children, minors, everything like that. Or here, where they compare Nix and Jackie, people who were actively directing sexual content in the space they knew there were minors in. Because... You could argue, you could argue in the Skype chats, ages weren't explicitly said, but yet Nynx and Jackie and Camila were sexual. I didn't, I don't even remember ever reading, ever saying my name, saying my name. I don't remember it. Not my name, my age. Nix and Jackie mm -hmm. literally I don't remember saying my age. They literally referred to them multiple times as kids. Crystal goes on in a different tweet later to compare Peaches to the likes of Artie and Veer. People who owned CSEM from multiple children. This is an asinine claim. Crystal provides absolutely no proof that Camilla knew about this entire thing. Roping Peaches in with actions from people like Veer is disgusting, and framing Peaches acting as if they were knowingly being sexual around children is just as bad, and it comes off as Crystal trying to tie the situation to the Glitchtail crew for no reason other than wanting to be the main character again. We'll get more onto that again later. That's not what a Crystal Flame was doing, and that's painfully obvious to anyone that hadn't watched your video to yeah. know about a Crystal Flame and their tweets and their issues with this the point being made is that you and peaches have no problem crucifying other people for yep. simply knowing about shit like this Hypocrisy. and yet she knew about it and didn't say anything which you all take issue when other people know about shit like this and don't say a fucking thing that is the point but you keep distracting it with claiming people are comparing her to a predator or a groomer or saying that well she didn't send porn in there and she didn't have sexual conversations in there when she actually she did have sexual conversations in the server she Literally. spoke about her boyfriend's dick with toasty in the server an actual an actual minor an actual minor the hypocrisies of leo Kava. we should have just changed the fucking stream title to that honestly <laughs> honestly a server which, again, she knew Slamurs was in there. So, Lyo, is talking about your boyfriend's dick in a server that you know has at least one 15-year-old not being sexual around children? And if so, and a I would love to hear your reasoning for such. Or is it going to be, well, she was joking? The evidence we are talking about is a single screenshot from an Amido chat. She was joking. <laughs> Haven't there been other people that they've gone after who also said they were joking? And Leo Convoy said, and I quote, that doesn't cut it, punk. That with heavily censored testimony that we have no way to verify. We see no evidence of ages stated. We see no evidence of Peaches actually asking a sexual question. Saying, ask something spicy next time is not evidence of that. Besides okay, let's keep this standard in mind. We don't see them asking for evidence of their age. We don't see them asking for whatever else he just said. Let's keep that in mind. So the next time when he's running his investigation or Saya, we can use this point against him. Let's keep this in mind. Let's take a little note here. What he said. Let's let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back. You know what I'm saying? Fi. We see no evidence of ages stated. We see ages no stated? evidence of Peaches actually asking a sexual question. Say asking a sexual question or ages being stated. Let's keep that standard there. Just two little points. Keep that standard there when he's running his next investigation. Being asked something spicy next time is not evidence of that. Besides, what? spicy doesn't have to be inherently mean. So if I 
<laughs> Bye. How is that not evidence, bro? Yo, have something spicy next time. You know what I'm saying, girl? <laughs> you know? What am I implying there? What What is she implying then? What's the implication there? Leo? Are they talking about McDonald's and McChickens? What, what's the implication? What does something spicy next time XD mean? What's the implication there? If it's not sexual in nature, what does it implicate? What, what are we missing? What does this mean? Meaning sexual. The only thing we see here is Peaches answering a sexual question with a no. I was going to ask if she'd had sex with him in any manner, but that's classless. Oh, and then moving the conversation along. This is the only screenshot, and it proves nothing. The second thing brought up did have evidence, and that was that Peaches responded negatively to someone's trauma being put out. I'm not going to detail it because I don't feel it's right. But Peaches Leo, it literally sounds like he's trying to explain this whole thing away without looking like he has a bias, and in doing so, he became the biggest hypocrite we've ever seen. Peaches absolutely shouldn't have responded like this, but this was also half a decade ago when Peaches was 18. And while I think it's important to hold someone accountable for that behavior, I don't think a witch hunt in the way it's currently happening is something that's necessary or productive. It's something that happened years ago and hasn't been repeated. People can change and improve, and Peaches clearly did. To me, this sounds- If you can change and improve, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. It's okay. What are you doing to her? Ladies and gentlemen. You don't know where Mary are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. My cat is in a t-shirt now. Alright, let's take this off her. She hates it. You don't know. You don't know her with Andy. She it looks like <laughs> it looks like she's squeezing out of every single end. <laughs> What's up, JFA? What's up, Sliggins? What's up, Seabird? John Bubba? All you guys. Legends. Legends in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, where were we? I got off track. My cat is in a shirt. Hi! She does not like it. Sounds like someone was still upset by that, and you can't be upset Legends by only, that's right. There's no time limit on that, to be clear, and decided to try and add on top of it to make it more damning. Such things, however... Let's not use damning evidence from five years ago is what he's essentially saying. Let's wrap that up into another point. Not asking for age. Um, whatever those other points were, I'll go back. I totally forgot them. ...are not evidence of predation. We was Real legends. conduct. I want to emphasize that this behavior is completely unacceptable and represents a profound This almost of my... feels like they're attacking her for being clout hungry is is what it, it's that's the vibe I'm getting from this. I could be reading this completely wrong, but this is the vibe I'm getting from this. This looks like they were covering all their bases in the thread with the claim they originally made at the first part of the thread. This doesn't seem like this is clout hungry. This doesn't seem like it's it's content farming. It just seems like they covered all their bases very well. And it just seems like Leo Convoy is trying to crack this cookie to make it seem like it's the most hit, hypocritical hit piece. Narrative, function, pem dots, bro. I can't find the words in my head right now. My brain has just fried itself trying to come up with the words of what I was trying to explain and say. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. We'll come back to this point later trust as well as the trust of anyone who confided in hopeless peaches shared their stories or interacted with them in any capacity to say that i and the fellow victims of the glitch tail crew are deeply disgusted would be an understatement to say the very least. kind of a cool name and i beg glitch all of tale. you to support them as much as you can as i will be as well it is important to understand that the only reason I and the fellow members of the GTC interacted with Hopeless Peaches was because we were unaware of their actions. Had any of us been aware beforehand, we would never have engaged with someone who posed a risk to children. The truth of this behavior being that Peaches talked sexually in a space with children, yet never knowingly directed at them. Framing Peaches as predatory is dishonest and malicious. Not filtering yourself in a space with minors does not immediately make you a predator. Remember, Crystal knows that during this time, Peaches was still dealing with their groomer. Especially then. Something Crystal should understand. Why? Because when Crystal was 18, they read off, in voice, 
sexual materials to the Glitchtail server while still a moderator in that space, knowing there were minors in the community and merely expressing that they should have done it in a different chat after being called out, despite that chat having minors as well. The call out was directed at holding it in the wrong room, not the fact that it was done around children. So holding Peaches accountable to this extent when Peaches was also 18 themselves and morally grandstanding about it when you are someone who knowingly directed sexual content at children is nothing short of hypocritical, especially when Peaches never called you a Glitchtail predator over this and instead told you off at so here's here's my take on the 18 thing versus 17 16 thing all right these people are so anal about this that once somebody turns 18 they interact with a minor it's automatically a red flag here's my thing here's my take on it if you are in high school together right maybe like a 19 17 year old maybe even a 19 16 year old 18 17 18 16 maybe even 18 15 right if you could attend high school together I think it's okay. It's four years. I think it's okay. I think it's more than fair. Right? It's the same thing that happened with what's his name? The Minecraft guy? Call me. Um, what's his name? Oh, what the fuck is this calling about? Crystal's video replying to this? Wait! Crystal made it. Uh, Chris, uh, there's a video on this? Oh, we're watching that next. We're watching that next. In private, as Crystal states on the February 25th call. Call me Carson. I want you to publicly address it. You know? Because you remember when you were going for the chat. Four is just really weird. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. I mean, with my wife, we were two years and then three years apart at some times because some the, how the birthdays lined up and everything like that. We were only one one uh, class away, but there was a time I was 19. She was 17. You know what I'm saying? Someone, some may have called me a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? But yet, we went to each other's proms and everything. So, hey, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, the server, and you saw something where I But these guys are so like, anal weird, you know? about those age mm -hmm. things. I said some weird shit. Then when it and happens you... to their friends, they kind of run the same excuse. Like, that shit don't matter. Either be consistent or not. And to me, you asked me about it, and you posted about it, which you were in your full right to. This is the same. It's like the tables have turned, you know? <laughs> This point especially is absolutely hypocritical, considering Crystal's conduct when they were 18, which would make them unfit to deal with the Glitchtail situation by their own standards. A fear that lingers within us is that the GTC and the groomers associated with it will exploit this situation as a gotcha against us. This thought fills us with dread. Right, right, we'll Redhead said it. I don't think a 16-year-old should get in trouble with being with a 18-year-old boyfriend when they met in high school. Exactly, exactly. The other thing is, like, once you get past the age of 21, like, everyone 21 and up, it, no one really gives a fuck. It might be a little weird. Like, the Brantley Keemstar thing could be a little weird, right? But then, like, you see, like, adult couples who are sometimes five, six, seven years apart, right? It's not really that big a deal. But once you get into the, like, people are growing. Like, the, that that age range from 14 to, to 18, even though it's four years, right? Four years. There's so much happening within those four years for a, a majority of teenagers. It's insane. Because at the end of eight, uh, end of those four years, these are pretty much grown-ass adults. Like, they're, like, growing beards, you know, you hit your height, all this other kind of stuff. At 14, you're just discovering the world for the first time. All these brand-new hormones are entering your body. Some guys are just now experiencing what actual body hair looks like, right? It's such a such a crazy four years, and that's where the gray areas come into play. And I feel like a lot of these people online haven't had that conversation with their parents about that gray area. And it's more or less maybe not about the actual age, but the mentality and mindset. Because I feel like a lot of these people in that community, especially in that Discord, are stuck somewhere in that gray area mentally, even though they could be mid-20s, mid-30s, right? comprehend why hopeless peaches would ever put us in such a vulnerable Jim's position. Crystal's most recent video addresses some of my stuff with Leo slash peaches, etc. And the one right before that is her response to this video. Depends on state laws. Yeah, that's true. You mentioned people using this situation as a gotcha against you. Wouldn't that also apply to you and your actions since you were 18? Considering you, yourself, found yourself in a similar situation like peaches, actively directed sexual content. If I were 18, in a you moderated. if I were 18 right now, I don't know, cause well, I was a completely different person at eighteen. I was fucking crazy as shit. 
But if I like if I was myself right now at 18, I probably wouldn't be messing with people my own age. But when I was 18 years old, I was all about whatever, you know, whatever tail you could chase and get, you know what I'm saying, in high school. 17, 18, you know, you're a senior. You don't want to be the only guy that's not at prom, you know what I'm saying, with a girl. That was a big flex then, you know what I'm saying? But these people are just terminally online, and it just seems like they're they're stuck in that men- mental bubble. Like I grew out of that after like my junior prom. I grew out of that mentality. I don't give a fuck about none of these people because it's not gonna matter after high school. But it just seems like appearance means everything to these guys with inside this social construct, and they want to lay the moral law down on these ages. But it also feels like these people never develop past those ages. They're still stuck in it mentally talking as if they're still dealing with the same struggles they did when they were 16 17 and 18 and it's just so so weird it feels like these people haven't grown up or haven't changed at all so in their head they're they got the maturity level of a 16 17 18 year old and then when they see an 18 year old and a 16 year old they lose their fucking minds you know what i'm saying it's crazy to me that's why the drinking age is 21 your brain is like actually fully developed at 24 Oh, shh, dude, that explains a lot about me. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, whew, I'm scotched, bro. It's over. I'm chalked. I guess every person in the Glitch Tales chat should make a similar threat on you. But framing you Yo, as a sexual predator like over this is stupid, which is why it hasn't been done. In her call after you released this thread, you backtracked and made excuses for John Bubba says it right. Being Listen, at 17 and 18, you could join the military. You could lose your life in the line of battle, right? But you can't drink. You can't smoke. You could take out a goddamn loan for $40,000 and be in debt for the rest of your adult life and go to college. But hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's as far as that goes. At 16 here in New York, you are also charged as an adult. But you don't have any of the bells and whistles that an adult has. So I remember when I finished college and got into the workforce and realized it was just like high school all over again, but with hella old people, I knew since then the shit doesn't stop after high school. Bro, there are just some people that never got past high school. Like when I got out when I got into college, like the whole time in high school, the teachers were saying, Oh, these teachers won't won't give a fucking college, bro. They won't they won't take this stuff, they won't take you slacking off. When I got to college, bro, and my CIS teacher was there, bro. This dude was a fucking Chad, bro. This guy this guy was coach of the football team. He was a Chad, but he was teaching computer science, right? Dude was ripped, shredded to the nine. Mr. Nieves, or Mr. Oh, sorry, that's my high school teacher. I forgot his name. But he was shredded, bro. He came in one day. He had a thermos, right? And he said, this isn't coffee. This is just, he said, Dr. Pepper and vodka or something like that. He's like, we're either one, I'm going to cancel class early because I'm too drunk. And I'm going to take a nap behind my desk or two. Um, we'll get through the whole day just fine, right? We got in maybe 14 minutes into it. He's like, guys, I'm going to be real. I'm not doing this. I'm going home. Uh, you all can have the rest of the day off. And I was like, bro, they would never do that in high school, bro. Never. What's up, dreadful Jax? Normalized to you and so on. We were literally just talking about this guy. Ages should absolutely come up, and they were not. Yes, they were not. Mm-hmm. But I'm again, just teacher. Teachers so real. Bro, the the college teachers were more real to me than the actual high school teachers. So the high school teachers were like, the, the way, in my experience, they're like preppy, snarky little assholes. Some of them. There were some real ones that were like, yeah, this stuff is literally not going to matter when you get out of here. Half the stuff you're not even going to use in college, right? And then I got to college and they were like, it is what it is, bro. You either show up or you don't. Attendance wasn't required as long as you do the homework and pass the class. I barely showed up. I barely showed up when they told me that. I was like, shit, you tell me I could just come in like once a week, get what I need to know, pass the exam, and then have the real world applications. If I already know how to do pointer systems and code for it, why do I need to show up for Thursday and Friday's class? You know what I'm saying? Oh, we were we were talking about Leo, and then your name was just brought up a couple of times. I don't know exactly how you were talking about. I apologize, but the chat was talking about you. Uh, what teachers were dealing with at that time, and what was normalized? Yes. If there's anybody, I'm not done. If there's anybody yes. here who should understand that, mm-hmm. Crystal, it's you. Yes. Oh, I fully understand. But the difference between me and Peter, oh, like, dreadful Jax was the thrown under the bus. Yes. That's right. I was I putting that out myself. It was one of my biggest fuck ups. Is that dub? 
and Camila Cuevas, of all Camila and Bia, oh, no, 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 no. called me out on it. Of all fucking people in the world to call me, so I understand how grooming behaviors can influence people. I understand that, but right now, so dreadful, I'm... Jax. Jim says here that you have been thrown under the bus by Leo Convoy. The hypocrisies of this man, Leo man. Bad, uh, scared, narcissistic pussy who refuses to address me publicly head on in a debate uh, regarding uh, another character in our community, Slug. Uh, I have no beef with Slug. I just have a beef with how Leo Man was talking about my dear friend, Peepaw Riveter, another creator in our ecosystem over here. He's scared. He's ran away with his tail between his legs. Uh, I have never known a lion to ever do that in the jungle or the savanna uh, desert whatever uh usually lions like to attack head on uh but this guy ran away scared so uh i don't know if he's a tiger cub uh, definitely wasn't the heart of a lion there cowardice if you will it was the lion from wizard of oz uh, before he got the heart of courage, if you know what I'm saying, guys. If you guys get that reference, absolute G's legends in the chat. Uh, that's what Leo uh, is over here. Leo the bitch instead of Leo the lion, bro. Dude's fucking, fucking weird, bro. Bro saw Beyblade and was like, yeah, Leo's. That's that's my name, bro. Bro saw Transformers, like, yeah, my whole personality and identity is based off of these motherfucking uh, Autobots. Fuck out of here. Twenty one. I'm still younger. Than the majority of people when these screenshots were sent, like Peaches right. was twenty, you know, Peaches, it's a like similar. Peaches was also still in contact with the person who groomed her, and as I told you and showed you in the script that you looked mm -hmm. over last night, she didn't even know what was going on in that situation. She wasn't even aware she was groomed until she had to start questioning things later in the year when Cosmodor was out. What? What is he that talking about? That has fuck all to do with the FCK server, and really, I, I'm. Uh, yeah, objection hearsay, objection relevance, Your Honor. Um, and then the judge would go ahead, uh, proceed, and then he'd keep going on. And if he continued on, uh, I'd ask for my time back, and to which I'd be granted, and I'd continue uh, with the prosecution, if you will. I know a little bit about uh, courtroom law and stuff like that. <laughs> Pat on my back. I'm a lawyer now. I consider myself an internet vigilante lawyer now. On the same level that Leo Convoy considers himself an internet vigilante and pedophile hunter. We are one of the same now. We are one of the same. We both have the same credibility. We both have the same amount of degrees on our wall here. We both have the same amount of accolades, which is zero. But hey, we're one of the same now. I wanted to interject here to explain something Be with that Leo, Leo to adopt you like he did me and others. Bro, that's the thing. That's the thing. Here in commentary, all of us have already been doxxed, right? And if his response about someone being critical about his talking points, especially when he's conducting investigations, is to dox me, that ruins his credibility. His authoritarian reign has a hole in it. It's the equivalent of the Galactic Empire saying, we preach peace while absolutely annihilating a planet of species that, that disagreed with them. What kind of peace is that? That's like a holy war with unholy actions being committed in it. Hypocrisy all around, if you will, for the sake, for the sake of an internet W. It's whack. It's whack. To that kid that said he was involved with gangs and shootings and stuff like that, uh, w him I know I used to say that shit as a kid <laughs> LOL You know what I'm saying But If he comes after me um, It's a beehive All I'm pretty sure he's seen all of us In commentary over here We all got, he, He'll probably pull up some weird shit from me bro I've said some weird shit I got some weird skeletons in my closet You know what I'm saying I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's really gonna mess with me I'm pretty much a nobody but Leo, bro, I don't know. If he came out tomorrow, right, and addressed all of this and admits that he was wrong, all my quarrels and talking points against him, expunged. Expunged. I just think the way he's handling this is, one, unprofessional. And uh, pretty much arrogant. Doodle tones, and in general, the senator doing. So if you talk about the FC... Why do you try to ruin your life? What do you do, like call your job? Imagine he calls my job. 
And I pick up the phone. What's up? <laughs> K server. They say that they need to add context, and then they bring up the fact that Peaches was groomed, which oh, has nothing kid? to do with the fuck. Oh, he tried to call your school. That's Fucking insane. Server. Or if you talk about Doodle Tones' degeneracy, they say, well, not enough context because Doodles is groomed, despite the fact that the degeneracy came before the grooming. They're saying that you're cutting context or missing context, and that they're adding context, and then mentioning irrelevant shit that has fuck all to do with what you're talking about. And some weird attempt to excuse it, but then say, no, we're not trying to excuse it. We just think that that should be mentioned, even though it has nothing to do with it. And so did I. There's so many things, even in the glitch cell situation, okay. I've looked back then upon. why do we condemn where her I've had you? So much... No, because I haven't done these actions. So you never what, did anything The dub from... was when you I was... Were... Yes, it was. The, but my the point dub is... was done when I was freshly 18. Like, we are talking. He's not going to come to your house, Jax. He's not going to come. Listen, I'm not the only person that lives at my house. This happened to me before with the K-pop community. They sent pictures of my old address. Right? I've been doxxed multiple times, multiple different addresses each time. Uh, one of them was right. Two of them were wrong. Um, my public address right now, especially on my voter registration, is, is wrong. Uh, that's where a lot of people find those doxxes. They go to the public databases. It costs like a dollar, maybe two dollars. They find your alleged phone numbers, your alleged emails that you use, your family members and stuff like that. They try to go after them. I, I know how it works. I know how it works. Been doxxed multiple times, right? And all the only thing I I actually have to say to that is, do not show up. Like I do actually do not show up. I'm not the only person that lives here. I'm not the only person in the home that owns a firearm. God forbid someone shows up because of an internet troll and I'm not home and my brother-in-law answers the door. God forbid something actually happens like that. But this is like not not a, like not an actual joke. Like I do not wish that on anybody. It's a pointless loss of life. It's a loss of innocent life then. Do not show up. Just do not show up. Very new. I think two, three months of being into 18, and that's why we all have that level of understanding of, so hold on, you know, you 18 year olds don't really understand that as an adult at that point. So hold on, you recognize mm -hmm. that, and on top of that, like, what's the worst you could do? Call the police department, get a raid put in your place, and get his ass in jail. You recognize how much that can impact people got way people too comfortable with being weird online knowing whether yes. or not that behavior is right but you think that peaches should mm -hmm. be condemned for something she was groomed into doing while she was still in contact with her groomer no okay let me make my point so i understand as many of us do here grooming does in fact impact people for a multiple multiple audience you know for a for long time and i still think my green experience still had impacts on me right now i still think it is for peaches i still think for a lot of the other victims i've supported i wholeheartedly would agree with that but it's at what point i just want these people to get help bro i don't think they're all there i really don't i feel bad for leo now i really do i don't i think i think he started this internet campaign with good in his heart I think he just lived long enough to become the villain. It's sad. It's sad. It's like the British Empire. Right? They go out there. We wanna we wanna preach peace and and, and further this culture along to the advances of the day and age at the time. Plumbing, you know, culturing food, cultivating crops. And then they live long enough to become the actual villains that they preach to fight against. What behaviors a good start. can be looked past? At what point? Like, what, what's the Turn line? Nightmare. Here? What okay. is the moral the line, line, the line of what action me, can be looked past? The line for me, as someone who has been dealing with these types of situations for six years, comes down mm -hmm. to certain things. If Peaches was sending pornography to children to get them interested in sexual things, that would be a line. If Peaches had not corrected his behavior after finding out she had been groomed, 
that would have been a line. How exactly? Okay. Okay. He's established the lines. Okay. This is very important. Exactly did she correct this behavior? Are you referring to her bullshit Twitter thread that was released a day before my video that we now know because of this call that you released like a fucking idiot that was done to get ahead of things, which is really fucking funny because you then went on a day after this call happened to then accuse me of trying to control the narrative. Now, I really don't have much else to say in regards to this video, aside from he goes on more accountability tangents, like at one point talking about how a crystal flame made predatory accusations and that they should have rectified that by clarifying they were wrong, by deleting the thread and then clarifying it. That's how they would have taken proper accountability. He keeps going on about accountability. And it's really funny because he keeps fucking lying and taking zero accountability for it. It's so surreal to see. The lack of self-awareness from Lyle Convoy is, is something I can't not get a kick out of. Now, with that said, that's all I have to say. I'm not here to defend a crystal flame or die on the hill for them. I just wanted to show you a couple of things and tell you some more information because Lyo, like the dumbass that he is, keeps admitting or providing information that stacks up against him. Now, now, hold your horses. You guys are going to hate what I have to say. Because before you go, I have more information for you. Hold I on. went to Slimmer's after he released this video, after I had watched a good majority of it, and I said ahoy. She said, hey, Al, did Peaches ever say anything sexual around you? Lyo's dumbass also just posted a call confirming he knew Peaches knew you were in the server, a call he had before his video where he claims he doubted Peaches knew that there were minors in there. She didn't say anything sexual towards me, but she did make perverted flirty jokes to Toasty while I was in call on the server. Yeah, she also talked about her boyfriend's dick in the server with Toasty. That is 100% true. She did talk about his dick in front of me as well. They made jokes about fucking each other as well on the call. I made sure to ask this. Were you in this call or did you just hear this from others? I was literally in that call. Alas, my hellions, we have more testimony from Slimmers regarding Peach's degenerate behavior around Slimmers, who she knew was a minor. Not only because she stated Slimmers' age in September of 2019, but because in the call that Lyo just gave us, a call that they had February 25th, she admitted to knowing that Slimmers was underage. Call of Duty does a Alright, I'm sorry. I'm a big Call of Duty nerd. I'm sorry. I just exposed myself. I apologize. Huge Call of Duty nerd. Alright. You guys are gonna hate me when I say this. Leo Convoy, if you come out and take every single one of these talking points, I, myself, and everyone else in my community that I associate with, I've come across you and against you with, and you apologize and... You don't try to take your own narrative against it. You take back it, saying I was hypocritical. Uh, and don't try to shift blame on like your mental well-being and everything like that. Just completely own the L. It is what it is. But you have victims you have to apologize to. I know some people are going to hate that. Some people are going to respect that. I am one for hearing people's stories out, but once... They start getting a little hypocritical. Start seeing them slip like, oh, I was in a bad place at the time. All this other. Once I start seeing that shit, I'm like, all right. Disingenuine. Don't like. All right. We're moving on. Moving on. Where were we? The Senate call? I don't want to look at the Senate call yet. I might want to save that for another one. Hey, everyone. Lyo Convoy. That's the actual Lyo Convoy video. There was, what was, what was the video? Uh, What was the name of the thing? Flame? Flam? What, what, who was that? Everyone is a little hypocritical. I am hypocritical. The difference between people, what makes you a good person and a bad person, what makes you see-through, honest, and believable, and humble, is admitting your faults. Every single one of us is human. We are not robots. We are not PR specialists, right? We all make mistakes. There are certain things in this world that I'm very hypocritical on, right? Only because of my innate bias. You are a human. You all are humans at the end of the day. Do not think because you have a bias and or are hypocritical that makes you innately evil. That's what makes you human. That's what makes you, you. But it's only a problem when you try to morally grandstand against other people. The holier than thou attitude. I'm better than you for so and so. Does that make you evil? I don't fuck with that. 
I don't fuck with that. We all have our bias. We're all hypocrites. I don't care. That's not the issue. You're not going to moral grandstand me and say that I'm a hypocrite when you yourself are also a hypocrite. That makes no sense to me. I did receive an apology from Leo the other day in a call, though as I told him, I will not be accepting it, at least not currently. Crystal Flame. Oh, he did apologize to you. Oh, shit. At least he apologized and reached out to you. That is a that is a big step in the direction. W Leo for that. But you, you yourself, Jibs, you do not have to accept that. You are not required to. You can stand on your ground. Also, I told Leo he has had over a year to apologize to me, and it's only not he's only now doing it. Do you think he's only now doing it because of the heat and backlash he's receiving now that this side of commentary has caught wind of everything that's going on? How we perceive that is just totally defines his character yes dude knowing your faults admitting them and doing your best to control them is a sign of maturity and a respectable person listen i who who hears without sin please cast the first stone you know what i'm saying that's i live my life by that rule but if i'm going to go after people i have to know i have to be humble enough to know that they're going to use my insecurities my hypocrisies of the past my my L takes in the past, my my old dramas and everything that I've been into that I, I've now expunged from my record and made good with, right? They will be used against me. Just because you apologize for something does not mean that it will later affect you in life. Or does not mean it won't later affect you in life. Excuse me. Just know that. Just because you rid yourself from sin, quote unquote does not make you less of a sinner than anyone else in the current day and time. You yourself are at fault. Every single one of us is at fault. Moving past them makes you a fucking double OG. You know what I'm saying, bro? Makes you a goddamn savage up in the streets. Don't go to New Orleans. It's a total cesspool now. Trust me. Who is going to New Orleans? New Orleans. Don't go to New Orleans, bro. Don't go there. Absolute filth. Filth. I once went to New Orleans... Uh, I actually had a good time. I went to LA, horrible time. Both times. Disgusting. San Francisco, even worse. Disgusting. I've been to some grungy places. Jacksonville, Florida, absolutely disgusting. Hey, James, I'm sorry people caught on to what Leo did to you a little late. I hope you can have a healthy and comfortable life after the situation. Yeah, bro. Honestly, honestly, Jibs, just comes with uh, my honest advice for you, Jibs. Uh, you, can, you can decide to listen to this or not. Who gives a fuck? right? Run with that attitude. Have a chip on your shoulder, right? A little chip on your shoulder. It's not always a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Just do what I do. Be like, I'm an absolute G, bro. I'm that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Take that with you in life. When you're going into an interview, for like the first time, big job, scared, just be like, I'm a, oh, I'm a savage, bro. There's no one better than me right now in this job position, right? That's what I do when I conduct my businesses. Who I'm gonna make this house beautiful, bro. Make these motherfuckers want to pay more rent. How beautiful it's going to be. Because I'm a master. Just be that narcissistic and move on with your life. It's not always a bad thing. Just don't be blind to your own hypocrisies. Alright. What the fuck? I'm rambling. Holy shit. I need to shut the fuck up. We are looking at flame. 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 Uh, somebody just said it in chat. I believe it was Jibs. Uh, Crystal Flame. That's right. Crystal Flame. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah, I had, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I had stepped back from the Senate for the past year, and it's helped a lot. I keep around those who were good and apologize previously, but have been working on moving forward. Hey, man, that's all you can do. That's really all you can do. What are we looking at? Reclaiming his story. Jibs the pig reclaiming his story. Reply to Hopeless Peaches and others. My response to Leo Convoy. Leo Man Bad. Which one are we watching? One's 25 minutes. The other one's an hour and a half. I should save the hour and a half one for next stream. I'm not going to lie. My throat's hurting. I'm a little bit of a bitch. I want to go play some Minecraft. I want to call it a day. Wrap it up. I could play Minecraft on here, but hey, you know what? I'm just rambling now. All I'm right. going to preface this video saying... Jibs the Pig, reclaiming his story. Reply to Hopeless Peaches and others. So is this... Jibs, is this your reply on um on Flam's channel? Flame's channel? I just need to know. Going into this, what exactly I'm about to watch. Is this Jib's actual statement in response to everything? 
Okay, I want to watch Jib's response to this. I'm highly critical. Just because you're in chat, Jibs, does not mean you're without bias in here. I'm just playing, bro. Imagine I fucking attacked him. <laughs> Imagine. I'd just beat a bitch. This is my reply to Peaches leading, uh, leaking a call that I was in without my permit. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jibs. Listen, you got to understand something here. Especially in the state of New York with one-party consent laws, the Wiretap Act of uh, 1972. Is that right? If you are being recorded without your knowledge, it is illegal. If you're being recorded without your consent is a different narrative, right? That's a different set of laws. So I can record you all. I'll say, hey, guys, I'm recording this VC. Now, whether you guys stay on that line, stay in that call is completely up to you. I no longer need your consent because I let you know that this call is being recorded. That's why telemarketers say, hey, uh, just so you know that this call may be uh, recorded for training purposes and da 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 Just know that. Those are your rights. So if they if they didn't tell you that they were going to record the call, that's completely fucked up. If they told you that they were recording the call and you decided to stay, uh, that's completely on your your end. Just so you guys know the uh, the lines of where I, I uh, stand on that. Right, let's get into this 25 minute pop. In that I shouldn't have had to even make this video. Oh, As was it a public PC? Peaches they still need to let you know they're recording. Cosmic though. had absolutely no right bringing this to the forefront it completely disgusts me in every single way that they felt that they had the right to do such thing this video is going to be very quick okay but it is absolutely necessary okay, you're gonna have to talk a, little faster, a friend bro. of mine known as jibs has had their story talked about and exposed without their permission as a gotcha against lio they had their story weaponized this has been done by hopeless peaches lumi and cosmic in this video, there's a few things that Jibs would like to make clear, and I would like to provide some context before handing the stage over to them. All right. For context, Jibs confessed to Queen's LLP. that I was pulled into. I was not told it was being recorded, but I don't care much about that. Well, you should, uh, because they just completely violated your right. Um, and that is a actual, actual crime being committed. The Wiretap Act literally protects a U.S. citizen under these guides of online interactions, especially within service inside the U.S. Trust me, know your rights as a citizen, know when you've been wrong. You weren't told, that's actually fucked up. Fina, that they were still in contact with their groomer and handed over a person's Discord tag to them. If you look at all my all my Discord calls, the Spurg dramas, I let everybody know, yo, I'm recording. I'm recording, right? I let everybody know. If you decide to stay in that VC and you don't want to be recorded, that's on you. That's not my my fucking skeleton to lie with. That's that's not the bed I'm making. That's the bed you're making. But they didn't tell you. They fucked you, bro. Texas is a one party consent state. That so is New York. You could be a one party consent state where one person can consent to the call being recorded, but the other person has to be known let known that the call is being recorded. Same thing with recording in public. You have to let let people know that you're recording. I, I mean, with a camera out. You can kind of get away with that because the you know people can infer that they're being recorded in public. Um, it's a public area, right? Jibs to this day happily regrets this in every single way. Now, as many CSA survivors would understand, it's hard to make that disconnection from your groomer. As you may know, this is the effect that grooming has on people. Groomers will make you rely on them, making you feel that you're nothing without them. This is easy to understand if you yourself are a victim of grooming. Lyo and everyone else within this call did not give Jibs this understanding at the time. When this was told to Queen Serafina, Jibs was brought into a call with Lyo, Queen Serafina, Hope Speeches, and many I've other senate ones. In this call, Jibs was verbally abused, victim blamed, victim shamed. Is Queen, is Queen he was presented Serafina, with notes is from Queen Serafina that, that really based uh, chick? Ah, who's Queen Serafina? If they were recorded, he wouldn't get in trouble because Texas is a one party consent. I think I already read that. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Lumi, Hope Speeches, and I agree with one party consent. information six. wrong, misconstrued a lot of facts, and outright added allegations which are not true. Lady. They that's also right, tried. Right and presented personal information about Jib's family, which isn't true in any degree. They had absolutely no right to release this video. I would like to preface this with the fact that I was never reached out to by any of the people who released this information. This was done without my consent, and if I had been reached out to, I would have said no, as many people who uh, I have spoken with. Okay, listen, they don't need your consent, especially one-party consent states. What they only need to do is let you know that it's being recorded. They do not need, I do not need your consent to record any call, right? Any call. What I do need to do is let you know that I am recording. That's it. I don't need your consent. Most of the time. Unless you live in a two-party consent state. 
podcasts about this topic are aware of. Also, my pronouns currently are he, they, and my pronouns at the time of this call were they, though. She, her is used in this call to refer to me, which is not correct, but was also not malicious or intentional. And due to that fact, I'm not okay with people using this to claim transphobia. On top of that, before we dive into this call, is I would like James? to provide some much needed context. Is this you talking? No, this isn't James, right? I don't know. What happened was that I had kept contact with oh, Vita secretly, Sarah Pina, right? and during this time, Vita requested that I give him the Discord information of an individual who was in my room at the time, so that they could chat, and I gave it to him. I do not stand by my actions from then, and I think that is clear oh, in the fact that I had confessed all of this rather than keeping it hidden, and I did take actions after what I did to have contact between this individual and Vita cut off. Once I confessed to this in a DM with Queen Serafina, I was told there would be a call. This was that call. Okay, so a year and a half ago, when Vita came to us about saying that Vita was talking to her. That's what we're talking about, right? Oh, my goodness, sir, yes. Can you please sit closer to your mic? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, like, right next to my mic. Is there something wrong with my connection? If you can, yeah. if not, raise your voice. Yeah, I, I, I turned up my input a bit, if that helps. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so. I just got a new mic. So. How, did you get, how did you get all these logs? Um, I had an alt account I used back then to speak with Vita. Ah. So a year and a half ago, you were still speaking with Vita? Yes. Why? I think I didn't want to do the work to have to cut him off. I didn't want to have to deal with that. Even though we had a pretty long call with you and Sarah about it, you still kept talking to him even after that? Yes. Even after we told you if we found out you were doing it again, we'd have to contact your family? Yes. You want to explain to me exactly what is so valuable about Vita that that was important to do? I'm not exactly sure now. There you are. I... There you are. There's no way you didn't weigh this. I'm sorry, but there's no way. No way. Because you know that your family's garbage. You know they'd probably hurt you if this happens. So you had a thought process, and I'm not going to sit here and allow you to lie to me. I already allowed that enough plenty, apparently. You're going to tell me the reason. What the fuck? Within the call, there was a common tactic used where Lyle Convoy what would provoke the, the idea of contacting my family as a looming threat throughout the whole time when he was dealing Who the fuck does this guy think he's going to tell me? Bro, what the fuck? That's the same fucking... Same fucking energy when they say, yeah, now you may speak. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Get out of here with that. My case. The idea was that if I stepped out of line by contacting Vita, my parents would be contacted and told about it. While I understand the sentiment behind this, he knew I had a complicated relationship with my parents. He knew that things at home were difficult at the time for me, and that did not stop him from claiming he would contact them. So the fact that he was willing to potentially put me at risk scared me at the time. To add on to this, there was a claim made within the video where they said that my parents were physically abusive to me. This isn't true. I suffered from emotional abuse and medical neglect, but not physical abuse. Again, Lyle was fully aware of this at the time as well. Did you like the attention? Is that what is it? Like the foundation was... That was probably it, I'm pretty sure. How old were you when that happened? 17. So you were still a minor? Yes. When did you actually cut him off? A common theme with my experience is that any time I would relapse to my abuser at the time, Vita, he was held against me. They accused me of only doing this for attention, and that I had malicious intentions, when I wasn't and didn't. I acknowledge that this was a betrayal of trust, and for that I have repeatedly apologized, but to frame it as anything more than a victim relapsing into old behaviors bro. is untrue. I was trying to escape, but as a victim of abuse, it's so hard to break that cycle. It's something you need to rip apart bit by bit, and it's not going to go perfectly the first time, or even the second. A groomer is like a parasite. They build up your trust, isolate you from everyone else, and force you to be reliant on them so Did that you'll you never leave. Bro. It's such a horrible cycle that's very hard to escape. A key difference I did notice in the fear that I had with the information coming to light, though, was the reason behind the fear was different per person. With Queen Serafina, I was scared of her being disappointed in me for not being honest with her. But with Lyo, I was scared of my parents being called. I was scared of him shouting, berating, and shaming me. And my fear was repeatedly justified, as everything other than my parents being called happened. I believe it was a day or so before I turned 18. What was the final straw? I, I don't remember exactly. I'm not buying that. Not today. You've lied to me plenty of times. You sat there and throwing my trust in the garbage, so you're going to give me a doggone answer. I am not going to accept. I don't know, and I don't remember. I am not stupid, and you will not treat me like I am. Leo, Leo, you didn't keep that same energy with Hopeless Peaches. You didn't keep that same energy, brother, because she said, I don't remember if they were 16 or 17, but no, 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 but you accepted that. Why won't you accept this one? No, no, no. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Answer. I know. I, I, I am just genuinely trying to remember some pieces of it. I tried so to. Why don't you go to the logs and figure it out since you clearly have them? The logs on the alt account only go for so long because then it was just, it was no longer on Discord. It was on iMessage and I had completely deleted everything off of iMessage and it's been over 40 days so I cannot recover those. So you can't remember why you cut off this child predator? Get rid of the life you remember. I don't remember what the exact last straw was or exactly why I did it the exact day I did. did you turn? When did you turn 18? March 1st, uh, last year. Last year? Wait, yes. so he's questioning a victim of a child predator? Like an interrogation? Is that what's happening here? 
What the fuck? Okay. So from your 17th to your 18th, you're talking to this guy, sitting in this server, knowing full well you shouldn't have been doing it. Yes. Why did you bring this up today? The reason I struggled to answer the question within the call is that there wasn't a particular defining event that I could pinpoint. The most I could do, now that I've reflected on things, is draw parallels to when I turned 18, as that was symbolic for me. I wanted to turn over a new leaf, start anew, and be better. So being asked this question felt unfair because I couldn't give a specific answer at the time, given the pressure, the shame I felt, and the fear I had. It makes sense why I couldn't find the right words in that moment, especially with all the eyes watching me and expecting a quick, clear answer. I would like to say that most of the people here have apologized to me for how they conducted themselves within the extended version. This sounds... What is that called? It's what Harley Quinn suffers from. Trauma bond? That's... Yeah. You misuse that term so much it drives me crazy, but a trauma bond is caused between a victim and their abusers, so I don't fault you one bit for staying... I'm staying a little bit, yeah. You know what? Keep in mind, bro, 16, 17, 18. Oh, excuse me. There is still, you're pretty much a fucking kid still. Whatever. Whatever. Version of the call. Let's hold There's some cut content standards. within this call. And I will be attempting to find it as I plan to make another reply, hopefully down the line. However, there's a list of people such as Busy Robot Hands, Queen Seraphina, Baiji, as well as some who weren't even present for the call like Drunkle and Monstrous, who I don't think should be dragged into this. These people have not only apologized in the past, but have also repeatedly been there to support and check in on me over time. Feeling really awful about it for a while, and after watching the really stuff that yeah. was mentioned, and yes, he was. You know what this feels like, bro? This feels like someone berating a woman because she stays with her husband even though he beats her, bro. That's that's what this feels like right now. I, I'm not fucking with it. I'm not fucking with it. You never did file a report against him, did you? I started one and then I. That's a that's a yes or a no question. That is not an essay question. No, I have spoken with no. some people. But with some people, who are some people? A, I believe it was a deputy or a sheriff in his area. And what did they tell you? I believe they told me to keep contact with them and to that we were going to do another call to go over everything, but I never did that. For this section of the call, I want okay. to clarify that I was let in the- me, Let me explain something to the rest of you, right? So, it, it, it's hard, it's hard enough to be a victim of sexual crime. Internet, real life or not, right? On top of that, if you're a guy, right? Uh, it's going to be my bias because I'm a guy, right? If this happened to me, it would be so embarrassing for me to have to admit that I could be so, I, I'd view it as weak that could succumb to someone else's power like that, to be a victim, a true victim, if you will. So it's, I can't imagine what it would actually, I've never experienced anything like that. I can't imagine, that's how I, I would feel about myself. I would literally pretty much bully myself. I call myself a bitch, a pussy and everything like that because I let someone do that to me. You know what I'm saying? It will make me feel powerless. I would not tell a soul right i would not tell a soul right and i'm a guy now you could say it does happen more to girls and and whoever right and they it's still not easy right it's still there's still a level of shame a victim will feel there is always a reason why a lot of these victims don't go and report these things that's also the reason why i have a big issue with these these statements i see on twitter um you know thousands Thousands of women don't report their rapists to policemen and all this other kind of stuff. And then to that, I always question, well, how do they know that? Oh, well, the shelters tell us and everything like that. Okay, so that means it is being reported. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure that statistic is true. Because at the who wants to go through that? Who wants to go through the legal process? Who actually wants to go through that? Because then, once you start doing that, you have to let your parents know, let your colleagues know what happened to you. Everyone's going to know what happened to you. And everyone's going to know what this other person did. And it just, it becomes a bigger nightmare. What, what could have happened in just a span of two minutes, maybe a few days, is now, it's going to seem like a lifetime of agony. Every day you'll be constantly reminded of it, right? So I don't blame people not coming forward right away with these situations i understand it what i do have a problem with is that a lot of times in media 
it's it's glorified in a way where these women will wait for guys to become successful or they'll wait 10 years because it now became relevant or something like that but that it makes it that much more worse for everyone else because then there's that pressure you don't want to seem like you're an actual liar or you're doing it for clout right you finally work up enough courage to finally fight back and say i'm going to handle my own demons but then you have new fears unlocked once you get over that hump you don't want people to think you're doing it for clout only because they're relevant or something like that you don't want people to think you're doing it for views or money attention right so that's another hurdle. That's another reason why actual victims do not come forward. So this this weird battering of it's a yes or no question. Uh, it's a very loaded yes or no question. The, the thought and the right thing to do would be, yes, I reported it. But sometimes a lot of them just fall short and they don't want to dehumanize themselves. So once they finally fucking scrape themselves, put themselves back together... They now literally have to pick apart those same puzzle pieces and explain exactly what happened, how it happened. And it's got to be embarrassing to have someone else completely not involved, even if they, they're there for good intentions, to read through the same trauma that you've been through. And you pretty much relive it all over again, right? It's very difficult, very difficult. That's, it's, it's a big contribution to why a lot of these victims end up, you know, committing endgame. I don't blame you, Jibs. I don't blame you for not wanting to relive it. But now you want your story heard. I don't think you should be berated for that. If you're an actual victim, I don't think you should be berated for that. And also, kind of the same thing as men being victims of DV by a female. It's never taken serious or it turns around to the men is demonized. Listen, there's a, I don't know if you guys saw this, the men's shelter. For that kind of stuff was protested by a shit ton of women bro imagine if the roles were reversed too but that's like a, a a gender war thing absolutely he's not only victim blaming but even right there raising his voice especially as a man a woman who's been through stuff like that is going to immediately tense up and pick up on the cue uh john the police came to my house like 15 years ago my boyfriend and i had a small altercation but i was the one kicking him repeatedly not too hard but still absolutely ridiculous as well it's a load of question for that gotcha bitch response please It's like, it's like he's going in with the narrative that this person is already comfortable with themselves, with being a victim. It's not the case. It, unless they're like psycho, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, let's, let's just a, go back. A, I believe it was a deputy or a sheriff in his area. And what did they tell you? I believe they told me to keep contact with them and to, that we were going to do another call to go over everything, but I never did that. For this section of the call, I want to clarify that I was in the process of attempting to file a police report against Vita. However, after the first call from my initial report, I panicked out of fear of my parents finding out and out of stress of oh, having to there you go. present there the trauma you go. that I went through to See, the police. right there. Right there. That's the parent that's the that's the parent paradigm I'm talking about. You the the people you know closest to you in life, right? Regardless if you have a good relationship or not, you most times you wanna impress your parents. You want them to feel proud of you and your accomplishments, right? You don't want to have to come to mom and dad and say, hey, so-and-so. And then, in my in my opinion, if I had to do that, I'd, I'd think they'd think lesser of me, honestly. That's probably not the case. They, they'd love me just the same, right? Just they'd love you guys just the same, right? But in my case, if I was a kid, I'd be embarrassed. And then, like, I was, a, I was huge into football and hockey at the time. How can I go and play a hockey game? How do I live life the same after that if something like that happened to me right everything changes now you're thinking twice about everything do, do these people think differently of me am i allowed to even ask my friends about this are they gonna have my back are they gonna make fun of me what do my teachers think sure they might not say anything directly to me but they gotta be thinking about it right like it changes everything so i don't blame people for not actually speaking out about it it's so difficult to do once you start that process it, everything comes undone it, it just floodgates open up Shoulder charge. Now I've been labeled a wife beater and a violent criminal for the last 18 years for a first offense misdemeanor. I've been labeled. I have a uh, assault and battery charge. It's actually been expunged, but I've been, I've been labeled a, a crook. Um, real. I'm so nice. I, I've been labeled. So I had a situation in high school. I, I was labeled a um. Uh. Pretty much like a criminal. 
I wouldn't go anywhere in life. I was pretty much a criminal, right? I, I had to live with that for a little bit just because of there was a scrum at the park. My buddy was got into a fight and I had we had our skateboards with us and it got heated in the moment. We all started fighting. I took my skateboard and I, I cracked this kid over the head. The skate truck where the bolt is hit him right at the top of the skull. It fractured his skull. Those four seconds, right? And it was a nightmare. Nobody could trust me. Everyone thought I was just a violent, good-for-nothing criminal. They didn't outright say it, but it felt like that. It felt like no one was going to give me a second chance, right? Which wasn't the reality of the situation. I didn't want to talk about it. I bottled it up. It wasn't until I actually graduated high school that I talked about it. It actually turned out great for me, right? Like, it wasn't a big thing. It was kind of like a normal run-of-the-mill thing. You know, violent crime was committed. Oh, gee, in the city. Wow, right? I never really thought about it like that. It was more like my personal life. Do my parents think of me differently? But then I had that conversation. My dad's like, I would have done worse if I was your age. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of made me feel a lot better. You know what I'm saying? But it was still like, that's such a small, small, you know, little, little fucking thing compared to what, like, imagine if I was like a 15 year old and I had gotten raped. That fucks with you the rest of your life. Because that can never be undone. Gun rights gone. Law enforcement career gone. Leading to me not following through with this report. After this call, I chose to reach out again to file a full report to the police. And this time, I went through with it completely. During all this, he's preying on another child. You're facilitating it. Then you hide it from us. So not only have you hidden your interactions with Vita, you hide the fact he's preying on yet another child. Wait, did they say my name? Your interactions with Vita, you hide the fact he's preying on... Oh, no, they didn't. I got scared. I got scared for a minute. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is flatly false. So so he's mad that you didn't come forward? Then you hide it from us. So not He's mad that they hit... Leo, you should know of all people why people hide this stuff. You should know. You should, Especially in a community as small as this one. You should know why they hide this stuff. To face ridicule like this. Is exactly why they hide from it. It's exactly why. This is disgusting. Like, actually disgusting. Leo, you are a pedophile hunter on the internet. You are an internet vigilante. You should be the first person to recognize this pattern of behavior. And you should be the first person to understand why there is this pattern of behavior. And victims who don't want to come forward. You, of all people, should know this. That's insane. That other child wasn't groomed. Vita and them played video games together and chatted a bit and that was it. He called it grooming here to make me feel guilty. Guilty because you didn't want to come forward, Jibs? He's mad that you didn't come forward. Imagine, if you will, Leo was a police officer. Oh, well, your husband's beat you before. Why didn't you come to us that time then? Could you imagine that situation taking place? Imagine the legal repercussions if an officer said that. Blamed the woman for not coming to the police department sooner. Or reported the first time she got beat or assaulted or anything. Could you imagine that example? A real world application of it, of this as an example. Could you imagine that? This is disgusting. This is actually disgusting. And even then I came to them saying I suspected they were... T Later, was this a thing? Was this the call you were literally talking about the other day that I was picking up on? It's actually... Actually vile, disgusting... Miscreant behavior. I do gotta move my car here soon. I don't believe you hit on the wrong side. Your interaction. Street. I don't want to get it. You had the fact he's preying on yet another child. Why? If he even made it past the psychological. I feel exam. like this comment from Lyo is incredibly unnecessary. I understand the risk I put the person, and that them being groomed by Vita. Is sure, I lied that I knew for a fact they had been talking, and that I had given Vita this person's contact info. But this call happened because I came forward and admitted to it. Okay. Okay. Something that could have happened due to my actions, and I still deeply regret it. However, so it's just an L. It's an L. But you're an actual victim. 
Okay, so you, you had an L take about you being a victim. Big what? Everyone has L takes, right? It makes you human to come forward and admit them. You know what I mean? This is straight up, uh, uh, straight up abusive. That's right, Le Leia. This is straight up abusive. Okay, maybe I should have told the cops sooner. and uh, Maybe I'm wrong for that, right? But I'm still a victim at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's literally the point they're making. And Leo is berating them for making the prior mistake of not coming forward, regardless of the mental repercussions and the actual turmoil, the wrestling match you're going to have in your brain. You, maybe it just takes longer for you to come out. Maybe you actually don't want to come out anymore. Maybe you just want to put it away inside somewhere in your head. It never happened. So I, sh I should act like it never happened, right? Well, I'm glad Leo and Hopeless are finally getting called out. I just don't understand why it took so long for this to happen. Why did everyone go along with them for so long? I have no. I literally just found out about this guy a while ago. I don't know if you're you're attacking me or not. I think you're just. I think you're attacking the, their community. But I just found out about this guy. When peaches fucks up while they're being groomed, it's oh they were groomed. But when I did, I got yelled. That's right. They were under the impression they were they were groomed at the time. So it's okay. Was the example from the last bit that I completely forgotten about that point point blank period y'all point blank period. Leo Convoy has an Instagram. I don't. I don't care about seeing. It. I. I don't, I don't want to get into their personal lives and stuff like that. I. I just want to address their their actions here. The the person behind the screen. That's a completely different. Uh, completely different facade. I don't. I don't like dealing with people's personal lives on here. Just the the actions online stays online. If it has real world implications, that's out of my league. Um, that should be a uh, legal suit. That's out of my realm. I'm here on the internet. RCC people are loyal to a fault and tend to be ignorant when it comes to real life and interpersonal relationships. Very well put. For me, I was trying to quietly move on for my own sake and because I was scared of potential repercussions from Leo and Senate. That's perfectly normal. You're not weird for that. It's actually perfectly normal. Ever, they were never groomed, abused, or anything along those lines by Vita. The two simply played video games together and chatted. So it's really, really distressing that Leo would ever simply imply that I would try to put someone in the same position I'm in. It's not fair for him to say or do this, especially when it is not what happened. That was a lot to unpack. Okay. Okay. I... Don't tell me you don't know. Did... If you say that, I'm going to genuinely lose my mind on you. I did not want to deal with the repercussions of my actions back then. He didn't I... mind doing it. He just didn't want the consequences. Consequences they... of being a victim, bro? Of coming forward and with possi possibly being ridiculed online for being a victim? Ridiculed for being a actual victim of an online crime. Sure, there's going to be people out there. Oh, it's online. That's not real. That's real. There's still real world implications. That this person's going to have to go in their real life. If this got out, like, like, they, like you said... Your pants. Oh fuck, bro! Holy shit! Holy, this is fucking. This is the. <laughs> this is a fucking super villain arc right here. What the fuck? But you like talking to a guy who likes to put his hands or wants to put his hands on children. Slips into their DMs. You, I'm such a lesbian. I wouldn't like a guy. This was and is a very distressing point that was repeatedly made during my time in Senate and DMs with Lyo. It also really shows that despite having handled several grooming cases and communicating with the victims, Lyo does not seem to fully understand how grooming works and what it does to a person. Lyo equated me being groomed and taken advantage of by a man to me being a. Exactly, taken advantage of by a man does not mean you are attracted to said man. He's basically blaming the rape victim for saying, "Well, obviously you must have found the rapist attractive if you fucking kept going." Like, bro, what what point is Leo trying to make here, bro? What the fuck? That's basically saying because she orgasmed during the rape, she must have liked it. That's the equivalent of bro talk, bro. Like, that's the, the college equivalent of bro talk. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, no. You should have seen her. She was moaning. She obviously liked it. Like, that's the shit I would hear in fucking college or some shit like that. Like, what the fuck? That's... Well, what the fuck? Bro. What are you actually on about, Lyle? This is some fucking bullying mentality, bro. He's so backwards and people act as if he's flaw. Exactly, bro. Exactly. He always came off like he was the smartest person in the wrong in the room and was so aggressive. I never liked him and stayed far from his face. He just seems like a narcissistic asshole. That he has the highest moral standing in the room and everyone should bow to him because he has the be-all and end-all of every social interaction ever taking place in his 
the little fucking commentary community, bro. That's not how life works, bro. I guarantee you if you tried that in real life, I guarantee you that's why he does it here because it didn't work for him in real life because there's always going to be a bigger guy. There's always going to be a bigger wallet. There's always going to be a nicer car. There's always going to be a higher executive. You're just some guy on the internet who wants to strong arm everybody. It's, it's literal clown behavior. Literal clown behavior. Lay, I found some calls where he and others bring up and reference such read out some of the ERP logs between me and Vita, despite me asking them to stop. Dibs, if you are comfortable, please send those to Leia something. Leia, well, she's been sharing all this stuff with us behind the scenes. We we're, we have a Minecraft world, believe it or not. It's super corny. Yeah, please share those with Leia so Leia can share with us. Uh, Giving it, Cathonic Echo, me, all of us. We really want to cover this, and Leia's kind of been the 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 beacon of hope for us sifting our way through this shit uh, leia something has literally been the the flagship for all of us finding out about this so please send anything you got to leia something I, I guarantee she will be more than happy to go over it and review it and then let us all know after jibs this is actually some fucked up shit bro this is some actual fuck jibs come to our side of commentary come to well all we do is play minecraft and make fun of doxers bro this is what we do on our side of commentary we just make fun of stupid people all the time they're bad takes and fucking l humor and stuff like that none of this fucking weird weird shit going on over here big post when that is out okay awesome please keep us informed bro it's actually crazy. Actually fucking Tracking crazy. to men and thus being straight. Invalidating my identity as a lesbian at the time. There's a big difference between being groomed and an actual genuine attraction to someone and building a relationship. Lyo and others in the Senate would invalidate that and say that I'm straight now because of my grooming, which is so distressing and disheartening even now looking back on it, that they would both invalidate my sexuality and try to equate my grooming to an actual relationship. But you still have them in your life. Even after we tell you explicitly that that is unacceptable, after you thank us for getting you away from but you didn't actually get away from You just lied to everybody who cared enough to try to help you. I swear to God, if the rest of you sit quiet this entire call, I'm going to remove every single one of you from staff. You people better start opening your mouth instead of leaving it to me every single time. I'm sick of it. Every time we're doing something like this, every single time we have to handle this, I'm the only one doing it. Knock it off. If you don't want to handle something like this, leave. I would like to raise the point that I did inform Lyo and everyone else that people shouting at and around me is a significant trigger for me. This guy fucking cried a call because his mods disagreed with him. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? I've had my friends disagree with me. I would never snap at them like that. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Actually, like that that wasn't a that was real. Like that wasn't a bit. That had to have been a bit. That had to have been a bit. So he's mad that he's the only one going after the situation and his mods aren't helping out. Bro, aren't you the vigilante though? This is like you, bro. Like yours you're the flagship guy. Of course they're gonna follow your lead, bro. It's real? That was real? I refuse. I refuse to believe that it's real. Y'all are gaslighting me. No fucking way. Light to everybody. Care enough to try to help you. I swear to God, if the rest of you sit quiet this entire call, I'm going to remove every single one of you from staff. You people better. <laughs> if y'all, if you guys stay quiet, stop backing me up. I'll, I'll, I'll remove, I'll remove your mind from Discord. Ah, bro. There's no fucking way, bro. Dude, if somebody yelled at me because I was sitting quiet in a call and they threatened to remove my mod, I'd be like, Motherfucker, who the fuck is you, bro? Like, who the fuck are you raising your voice at? First off, it's a fucking role in the Discord. Like, again, I use that point. When I log off, none of these fucking people exist, bro. What the fuck? This is somebody trapped in a house. There is some mental turmoil going on with inside Leo Convoy that needs professional help. This is fucking real. Like, this is actually him. This is insane. This is actually insane. They're opening your mouth instead of leaving it to me every single time! I'm sick of it! Every time we're doing something like this, every single time we have to handle this, I'm the only one doing it! Knock it off! If you don't want to handle something like this, leave! I would like to raise the point. What would he have done now if all his mods left? the 
actual fuck. Yeah, we 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 talked about that. He threatened divorce on his wife because of hopeless people. His real life wife, right? His real life wife said, "Hey, I don't like that you're spending more time with this girl than me." I think she's a home wrecker. Like, deservedly so. A girl is going to get mad if you're spending more time and more attention with another female. Women are like, I'm so sorry to generalize the, the gender here. The fucking whatever. Whatever. It's going to sound so fucking. I'm sorry. I'm just a one track guy. I'm a bro, right? Women act like that, right? They just do that shit. Uh, guys will do the same thing. If, uh, if my girl was hanging out with another dude on Discord, instead of spending time with me, I'd say the same thing. It goes both ways, bro. But this motherfucker legitimately said, apologize to her or I'm divorcing your ass. What the fuck? Where's the love at, bro? What the fuck? Nah, get that shit. That shit is clowning. Get that shit clowning. I did inform Lyo and everyone else that people shouting at and around me is a significant trigger for me. It not only impacts me emotionally by increasing my anxiety, it also affects me on a physical level as I have POTS, partial orthostatic tachycardia. I don't know what that means. I would have just called you uh, a pussy, though. I'm going to be real. I don't know what any of this means. I'm not like a mental health expert. Yeah, syndrome. When people shout around me, it can, Number of can cause my heart rate to spike, which can lead to me experiencing heart attack-like symptoms and even passing out. Oh, shit. What's her name has that, too? Fucking, uh, I forgot her name. I play hockey with her, though. Despite this, for a warning, Lyo shouted around me throughout this call. Another thing to note. So he was made aware. So he cares so much about these victims. And he was made aware of these these uh, issues with his with the victim in his call, right? Made aware of this. And yet he still chooses to ignore. This guy is a next level narcissist, bro. This is the narcissist final boss. The brain worms epidemic, if you will, bro. The IQ bell curve chart doesn't even hit this motherfucker. He's so up there, bro. Einstein. Einstein is absolutely befuddled and jealous of this man's level of IQ. Holy shit. This is psychotic. Thank you, Naomi. If someone, I'm going to be real. I'll be real. I don't know much about the mental health, all this, like, PTSD or whatever the fuck she said. Or he said, I don't know your pronouns, bro. I'm gonna be real. I'm ignorant as fuck when it comes to that shit. I don't, I really don't give a fuck about that shit. But if someone came to me, right, this is why I'm not an internet vigilante. This is why I don't deal with uh, victims and stuff like that. I'd be like, bro, don't be a bitch, right? That would be me. That would literally be me. Which is why I don't put myself in those situations, because uh, I'm insensitive. But this, this guy literally specializes in these cases online, right? This isn't me just starting this and making fun of them, right? Because that's exactly what I would do, which is why I don't do it. I I'm a man enough to know that this is exactly what I would do. But this guy literally specializes in this stuff. Like, this is his bread and butter. This is unexcusable. Like, you could make it a case for me. Right. If I if I did this, you could make a case for me. Okay, Flatley's a literal internet spur. He makes fun of everybody. It doesn't matter. Everyone gets the same amount of licks. Everyone gets the same amount of, you know, smack, smack. Same. Equality for all, right? That's why I don't do this. And I don't pretend to do this. But Leo, you literally do this is your bread and butter. This is your staple. This is inexcusable. Extremely inexcusable. That's Call insane. In the context of all the other, it's, it's insane to me. The, it's, it's what the fuck, bro. That's the equivalent. To, I don't. Know, I, I there's no equivalence. There's no equivalent. I can't even think of an example right now. Like this. Like this is your backyard that you're shitting on, bro. Other calls I was the center of was quite tame, as surprising as that might sound. The behavior specifically that of yelling and other calls that I was a part of was a lot worse than this one. And again, there's no excuse for it. Oh, I, I, I have stuff to say later, but no. <laughs> really? You, you, you gave him another person? Hello? I don't know why I did. I genuinely don't, don't know. I, I don't know. Find. No, you do know. You just don't want to say it. Again, none of us are shaming you for anything. The truth, right now. You literally are shaming them, though. You said, oh, you don't know. And now you're referring, oh, you do know, but you don't want to say this person is a fucking victim, bro. It's I give him enough credit just for staying in the call. I'm gonna be real. Had this have been me, uh, and this shit happened to me, 
I would have done. I would have been out of there, bro. Skirt. I'm out. I'm out. Shit. No. What the fuck? What do you want? What do you want? You want to accept that they don't know, or are you? Do you want to keep pressuring them? Say you do know. You just don't want to say it. Because the latter, knowing the second half of that, is makes you even more vulnerable. You do know, but you don't want to say it. Da, da, da. You know you're a victim, but you don't want to say it. Fuck you. That's even worse. That's even worse. This does not make you look better. How is this loses. good as any? Exactly. You're, you can't just float around in life going, oh, I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I did that. Jibs, stop it. Who the fuck is, who the fuck is that popping at the mouth? Who is that person? Yo, some of these motherfuckers need a reality check, bro. One point I would like to add it's here is that gross. even with my story being dragged out, with the preface that is going to be censored, they failed to do even that. As you can hear, my name is mentioned here. So firstly, they took my story without consent. Secondly, they had no permission from me to do such a thing. If they had ever asked, I would have outright denied them because I didn't want this to be out there. And thirdly, they didn't even censor it correctly. They failed in every- They did fail. They tried to mask your voice with the thing, which was- it was good. Honestly, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt, because sometimes I do the same thing. I'm like, oh yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll cut your name out. And then I got a 40 fucking hour long segment. And I'm like, I do not want to go through this. Fuck it. Whatever. It'll be out there anyways. You know what I'm saying? It's eventually going to get out. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but that's as far as that, that grievance. That's as far of the, the rope that I'm going to give them. As far as the lead I'm going to give them. Maybe they were just lazy enough to not want to go through that and censor all the time. Somebody said jibs, right? And they did go through the hassle of actually, you know, void coding your voiceover and stuff like that. But now, we can criticize them for being lazy, for not censoring that, right? We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they really didn't just want to go through the whole thing and cover Jib's voice. But now, we can criticize them for, one, being lazy and mishandling a case with an actual victim. On top of also berating and abusing the victim in the voice call. This makes the L even bigger, bro. Arrogance. Negligence. And just straight up narcissism, bro. They're bullying a fucking victim. You're you're pressing a victim for answers you're forcing out of them. How does that ever make you look good? In what scenario does that make you look good? I can understand waterboarding a terrorist and forcing answers out of them, right? But this is like not even that extreme. This is not to that extreme. Why are we forcing a victim to come forward? About something they're already uncomfortable with talking about. I don't. What is this narrative? What timeline are we in right now? Where that this is okay and normal in the eyes of the people in this call? How did we get here? The voice cover was just slightly toned down. Also spent two. Wait, no, 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 no. You spent two days. All right, hold on. I didn't know that. Editing a thirteen-minute clip of the call. You had thirteen minutes. 13 minutes and you couldn't edit out the all right inexcusable now bro i thought this was like a fucking four or five hour long call 13 minute call and you couldn't edit out a couple names you couldn't even go like you, you mother, like even like edit like that bro where the name is just completely gone you don't even have to do a voiceover or nothing and that's inexcusable that's lazy in my opinion it sounds like Two days it sounds like they didn't want the call to come out but then they were pressured by everyone else in the community for that call to come out because they didn't want to see how bad they looked in it that's what this sounds like <coughs> remember when leo tried to say peepaw was acting immature just because he gave slug a taste of his own shit when peepaw used slug talking points against slug leo said that was uh childish he said you're more you're a more mature man than slug is you should see it his way or something like that and leo was definitely projecting this is the thing this call was an hour or so but peaches only chose 13 minutes of it to use so only had to edit that 13 minutes exactly inexcusable once again jibs very inexcusable on their part the senate mod our way or the highway i guess it makes me sick it makes me sick uh our way that my way or the highway? Fuck that. Do as I say, not do as I do, people. Fuck that. I, I hate that shit, bro. That shit is whack. That shit is tyrannical, in my opinion.
every single aspect. Something that I would also like to add is that I would like it if my statements and experiences were separated from Peaches, Lumi's, and Cosmic's experiences as much as possible. Not only did I not approve of them sharing what I went through, but I did not and would never have approved of them using it in order to prove their own point since they lacked evidence for some of their personal claims and saw my call as the next best thing. Also, Lyo did indeed apologize to me for this call. Emphasis oh. on this call and only this call. But Lyo was it a public apology or was it after he faced ridicule? After he was told to do so by Peaches. Okay, there we go. As of now, the only message I ever see from Lyo reads, I'm sorry you got- Exactly! Exactly, Ivana! It's not even their fucking story to tell and they're hijacking someone else's trauma for what purpose? Views? Clout? Uh, social credit scores? What else? I don't know. Sometimes you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I think that's what happened here. I genuinely think Leo Convoy wanted to put away actual evil miscreant motherfuckers online at one point. I think, I think it it went too far. I think it went too far. I'm sorry you got used as a a whoa. What the fuck? Wow, what is that word? You got used as a cause against me. Genuinely. The more you, the more you just don't say it, it's gonna get worse for you. If you just come out about it right now, it'll be like, a lot better for you. There is a saying. Who's talking? Who's that talking? What right do you have to fucking say that shit? What's your involvement, buddy? What the fuck? The truth will set you free. It's gonna set you free right now if you just come out about it. Really. They're actually pressuring Jibs. This is real. This actually happened. This is real. What the fuck? I genuinely don't know why I gave him- No, I'm not gonna take that. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna take that answer. Not gonna take that answer. <laughs> what the fuck? This isn't real, bro. I'm getting this whole fucking thing. I think y'all are gaslighting. There's no way this is real. If this is real, this is sad, bro. Did you just want Raven to feel like how you did? No, that's definitely not it. I'm pretty sure he just asked me for it, and I just and you just gave her up to him. But why? Why, why did you give them the you information? Know, without thinking, you had a motive. Yeah. They just said the victim has a motive for coming out. They blame the victim for having a motive for coming out. Why don't they just come out and say it? They're jealous that Jibs has a story and they don't. Why don't they just come out and say it, bro? That's what this is, bro. They're jealous Jibs has an actual story and could possibly actually put away a pedophile more than Leo Convoy ever did in his history of being online, bro. Th Why don't they just come out and say that they're mad Jibs has a fucking money laundering story that they could use to extort and milk for views online? And that Jibs beat them to it with their own fucking personal experience, bro. Why? That's what it sounds. It literally sounds like they're jealous that Jibs is a victim. This is literally the vibe I'm getting from this. If I'm wrong, the people in this call, please tell me. Please tell me. But this is the vibe that I'm getting. This is the vibe that everyone else is getting. This does not paint anyone in the fifty concurrent viewers. Holy shit! Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. I. Uh, I'm speechless, bro. How do you fucking explain this away? Did he threaten you or something? Is that what it was? I genuinely don't remember. Yes, you do. Oh my God. Just say it. I want to know what exactly it is about me. Okay, if they genuinely don't remember. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If Jibs genuinely doesn't remember, I'm here to say, all right, that might be bullshit. Now to force somebody to remember is a different story. Someone, someone can genuinely remember in, in vivid detail of something traumatic, right? The brain is so powerful. That person can spend a year, maybe two years, maybe even a month, forcing their brain and training it not to remember, not to call back. They will, they will genuinely forget about it, that it ever happened to them. And the minute they get a trigger, it'll come back to them in specific vivid detail. But pressuring a victim for a story is never a good idea. Because then they can misremember. They can cross details. Mess everything up. 
forcing a confession out of somebody is the worst thing you can do. Any law enforcement agency will tell you that. A forced confession is not a real confession. What if what if Jibs doesn't want to remember? You do not have the right to know what Jibs remembers. I can imagine Evie. I'm about to cry right now from how much this all makes my heart hurt. This is disgusting. If you're in my chat right now, right? And you aren't you aren't angry about this. If you aren't feeling some type of way about this, I don't think you're human, right? I don't understand how these people actually live online. Jibs has the right to not remember. That's right. Absolutely. You cannot force somebody to remember something that they want to suppress. Jibs is, I don't know, Jibs, I don't know your story, Jibs. I'm going to be real. In my opinion, if I were, if I were you, I would have suppressed that shit. And then if somebody questioned me on it, I'd be like, what are you talking about? What are you, that, that shit ain't happened. Just because I would be so embarrassed to admit that that thing could happen to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually, that's how I would do it. It never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. It never happened. That's how I would go about my life. If someone came to me like this, I'd be like, motherfucker, I'm the victim. I'm telling you it didn't happen. So it didn't happen. Like, well, we have the evidence here. It's like, okay, you might have the evidence. What are you going to do about it? Like, I would be that, I'd be that crass. Because I'd be so embarrassed. I'd be, I'd be terrified on the inside of something like that having to come out. And then me having to explain that on top of that to a bunch of people online who, one, aren't going to help me out in my real life interactions. That aren't going to be there for the legal proceedings aren't going to be there to have to sign all the papers and then get the quotes and everything done and do the legal proceedings and and they're not going to be there in the day-to-day -day life with people that i i'm acquaintances with who got a little word of this or or that i'll see passing in the halls of school or at work or i'm interacting with at the basketball court and stuff like that they're, you're not going to be there for all that you're not going to live through that so no you don't have the right to know you don't have the right to get the confession from me you don't have the right to know what i think or what i remember because you're not going to be there for the 90 percent of the rest of it this is insane to me this is actually insane what is how old is leo combo he's like twice my age or something like that but i do know one thing karma is coming back at leo no wait what did jib say excuse me oh sorry jibs you were talking in chat uh that was me saying i don't remember why i gave you the other person's contact info I suppress bits and pieces while remembering others in extreme detail. That's actually, that's fucking normal. That's, that's very normal. Yeah, that's normal, Jibs. It's crazy they kept hounding, but of course they wouldn't know shit about how victims' minds work since all they do is pretend. That I, I don't pretend to be a vigilante. I don't pretend to be like an SA expert or some shit like that, right? Or a grooming expert, right? I've seen enough CSI. I've seen enough Skeeter Jean on YouTube. I've, we've all seen enough Chris Hansen. We've all seen it in our real lives at one point to just know the basic understanding of what trauma can do to a brain. I know more about war PTSD than I've ever been. I've never been to war. I've just had friends who've come back and they're not the same. It literally will change how you think. Your mental faculties will never be the same. And it'd be completely ignorant for me to say, well, why are you getting triggered over guns in Call of Duty? It's just guns in a video game. There's Shouldn't be triggering you. L loser, L loser. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not the same for everybody. I don't I don't get this. This narrative is fucking insane to me. I need them to see I need to see this response. Is there a response for this call? Do they have a response for this these actions? <coughs> it might not have to be directly to me. I'm an internet nobody. Just somewhere. They have to they, there's gotta be someplace they explain this. After trauma, there isn't recovery, just picking up the pieces and moving on. You have to find, there's, you'll never get over trauma. You will never get over trauma. Any soldier will tell you this. You never get past your trauma. You just learn to live with the trauma. You learn to put the pieces back together. You never get over, you never get over a loss of life. You just learn to live without it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to be, I'm going to get a little personal with you guys. I grew up most of my life hating my birth mother. Because she had kids after me, she was able to get sober, and that tormented me most of my adult and teenage life. That I wasn't good enough for her to get sober. She gave me up, right? That tormented me. I would see, like, when we all had those baby pictures and everything from our senior photos and everything like that. I'd see the moms come in, drop them off, right? Uh, my adoptive mom, love her. I wouldn't be here without her. They gave me everything in the world, right? I had everything. Everything I could have asked for as a kid. 
everything, I was spoiled, if you will, right? I was better off than 99% of other kids in America. But yet, I still had to mentally live with my original, you know, mother, right? Couldn't live with the thought of having me around. She couldn't, you know, be strong enough to stop doing drugs, right? To keep me around. That messed with me so much in my life. Even though I had all of these things, I never got over that. To this day, I never got over that, right? That's why I get so vile online all the time. It's a good little little way to come out, right? You just learn to live with it. And now it's more like, I don't give a fuck about her. Like, I'm a fucking savage. I got more to my life and my name than she ever will in her life. But you you never get over it. You have to learn to live with it. I'm not, this isn't like, like a fucking unique story. This Everywhere in the world this happens. Everyone's got some kind of story. They just learn to live with it. And they should know this, dealing with these cases more than anybody. I should I'm a fucking Spurg. I shouldn't have to explain this. What the fuck? This is so weird that I'm the, the moral high ground. I'm an internet Spurg, bro, who calls people the most heinous fucking slurs and shit like that. And stuff like, I, I, I literally use the F word. I don't even want to use that now because I'm, I'm talking about a moral high ground. But I, I literally, I use faggot and all that other kind of stuff. Like, I shouldn't be the person explaining this. Like, I am like the bottom of barrel Spurgs, bro. Like, you pull me out, you never know what I'm going to say or what's going to come out of my mouth. Or what slur is going to come out. I shouldn't be the one to explain this. This is insane. Thank you for being real. Don't say that word, bro. I, I've said it on multiple live streams before. Like, I know it's a bad word. I, still, I, I shouldn't be the one... I use that word in arguments online all the time, right? Like some fucking vile shit. I shouldn't be the one to have to explain. What the fuck? When did I become the moral orbiter of this shit? What the fuck? This is a weird timeline. I should not have been on this side. This is fucking weird. So you find so appealing. Say that you apparently found appealing enough to it's crazy, travel over everybody bro. who cares about you. It's crazy. How the fuck did I get here? I didn't think this was how the stream was going to go today. So tell me, what will about him is worth it? I want to know. Tell me. Do you want me to yell at you like I just did the rest of my staff? No. But I recommend you fuck? stop hushing and you start talking. What the fuck? What? It got worse? It got worse? Ah, uh, bro. Come on. There's no way this part of commentary is morally right in this argument. There's no way we're morally right. Uh, dude, I'm so fucking befuddled right now. Sorry that you had to experience that. Are you talking to me or, or uh, uh, Jibs? What I had to experience is really nothing in comparison to what everyone else is. That's how I kind of live with it. Like everyone always has it worse. You know how it goes, dude. Shit happens. That's why toilet paper was invented. This is insane to me. Like if you guys see how I act on Turd Island, right? You're like flatly. He's a crazy narcissistic asshole, right? He calls people vile things all the time. Makes fun of them. For, for getting into internet beef, right? And here I am on stream talking to an actual victim saying that they're treating you wrong and being morally right and sweet about this. This is fuck. This is a new time, a, a new flatly. Like, what the fuck? Leo once lied to me about getting lupus and why he couldn't hang out with me. What the fuck? I am, I am so 100% done with this level of callous stupidity. I am 100% done with it. I have been as patient as humanly possible with literally everyone concerning all their nonsense. And you are sitting here right now wearing that 100% thin. Start talking. You can talk to a person who wants to dick down little girls. You better start talking to me. I don't know why this gets my blood going, bro. Like, out of all the spur drama I've been a part of and small commentary, this has got my blood boiling. Like, this is, like, maybe it's because internet drama is just internet drama here in small commentary. But this is, like, some real world, like, actually happen type shit. Like, where I come from, we just make fun of people for having L takes on drama not related to them. What happened? Jibs, if you need a, a fucking uh, spear, spear to be around, bro, come, come hang out with us, bro. We just make fun of fucking 
fucking everybody, bro. We go fuck who you are. Everybody gets it equally. Another point I want to make is that during the time when Lai was proposing the idea of helping me, and I do agree that he has helped me, he did help me with my recovery process against my abuser. Behind closed doors, he used very sexually explicit language to describe me and how my abuser saw me. One of the prime examples, which I don't have proof for as of yet, due to it being a private call, but I will be going through and trying to get my hands. You literally don't need any proof right now. Everything else you said kind of amounts with evidence. So word of mouth here, it, 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 it already is what it is. It's too far in. You're too far in on all the archived calls is that he would say that i'm just a human flesh light to vita oh all right object to hearsay we, we don't I have i don't know that. how anyone would ever be able to say that to a human being let alone a victim of grooming another point i want to make regarding handing over this discord user's name to my abuser is that i tried my best to break off all communications between them again i deeply regret what i did i was struggling at the time and i wanted to make amends for my mistake which i did in the end even if it ended up in the actions in this call he gave me attention Dude, this shit gets my blood boiling. This is why I could never be a pedophile hunter, bro. Because if I met up with, with one of those dudes, I'd probably fucking... I'd probably go to jail, bro. I'm gonna be real. I'm probably going to jail. Oh, you're awake! Hello! The love of my life. Yes! Yes! Hello, little baby. Hello, little baby. I love you so much. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll put you down. <laughs> Visit her off. Uh, that made me feel better. Oh my god, you fell down. I think she jumped. I don't know if she fell. Mentioned in the validation that I wanted back then. I <laughs> was my marshmallow in the face. I did not, every time I would try to cut him off, I would just feel like shit for a while, and I didn't want to have to deal with that. But now you can't. You magically can't remember why. Maybe because he's more interested. Or Maybe no. because they felt like shit, bro. Why do? Would you want to wake up every day and be reminded of something that made you feel like shit? No, the normal human interaction, the the normal fucking comprehension of the human brain would be like, oh, this makes me feel like shit. Then your brain would associate it with bad. I don't want to feel bad. I'll feel good. You'll block it out. That's normal. That's literally how the brain works, bro. Unless you're like crazy and psychotic, you want to be angry all the time. Go ahead. Because after we, I remember there was a point in which he had sent me messages of him talking, and I told you guys that I suspected that I was talking to him because of behaviors. And then that cold call happened. Yes. You lied to all of us. Yes. I even had a call with you right after. I even had a call with you right after that. Like, you know, we, we had, well, in the middle of that one, you know, I asked, is there, is there literally anything you could tell us? And then we got into a private call afterwards where I asked you again, and you, you just didn't tell me. You didn't fucking tell me. Did it imply that she wanted to be with Vita or something? No. It no. Or even just was in the, in the launch was just continuously They're wanting to be friends with Vita. the victim wanting to be with the... They've lost it. They've lost the point they were trying to fight. Play video games with him. Why? I, I don't know why. And you didn't you didn't discourage it. You didn't say, ew, gross, he's a pedophile. I hadn't directly told me she'd be in touch. That's not easy to do. It's one of those things easier said than done, bro. Unless you've actually been there, you'll never understand. That's why I, flatly talking, uh, don't pretend like I understand. I don't. I'm, I'm never going to get that. Unless that happens to me, I can feel as much empathy for somebody as I possibly can. But unless it actually happens to me, I'm never going to understand. I'm never going to. That's what what makes me human. Implicit bias. I don't, I don't fucking know. Maybe that makes me a hypocrite. I, mean, I don't Vita, know. I only know because I had help. screenshots from Vita. And I messaged her saying, hey, if you are talking to Vita, you shouldn't be. And you, I hope you talk, tell me about something like that. I have I sent the screenshots to Sarah. Still in hey, hello, has all of them. I gave all of them. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm quiet because I'm trying to think about what I'm going to say next without... Because my thing here is that... That person's very quiet because they want to think about what they want to say next. They are going because if they said what they truly wanted to say and feel right now, they would look like a narcissistic asshole right now. Whenever I hear somebody say that, I need to think about how I'm going to word this. That means you're carefully going to create a narrative that makes you look like you're right in the point you're trying to make. I just say shit out the mouth. If it comes out some type of way, it is what it is. It might, it may or may not have been what I meant to say, but just be honest, bro. It's not that hard. Be honest, what do you really want to say? Why do you got to think about this? This seems like a pretty much black and white call situation that they've somehow muddied up and mishandled. Uh, regardless of like the context of what you tell us, regardless, you didn't inform any of us about it. You just let it happen. You let it happen. 
You sit on it for a year. Where? Why did I have to tell you? Are you the police? Are you the parents? Who are you? You're online. Why would I trust you with that information? If this were, Jibs, if this were me, bro, you don't you don't have to tell these people anything. You owe them nothing. You owe them nothing. And a half. It's unacceptable. Are you still in contact with us? We're at it, but we haven't talked in a while. That is not what I just asked you. I'm sorry. At what point did I say that I needed the specific details of everything? I just asked if you're still in contact. That's a yes or no. The questions Leo asked me were not simple yes or no questions. There are no straightforward answers because this situation is complicated. They're going to see you later, Sligan. Sligan's W. Going to be nuances which are simple to understand, honestly. For Leo to reduce such a complex situation and shout at me because I didn't give the answers he wanted to hear. Kobe Beef hit the nail on the head. Yeah, this community has insane. I was bullied and now I want to be a bully energy. Alright, sorry, I just completely skipped over what you were saying. My bad, Jibs. For Lyo to reduce such a complex situation and shout at me because I didn't give the answers he wanted to hear just isn't okay. Yes. Message her right now, and you get her in the server. Because if you don't, in the next hour, I will find her again, and I will call her parents. What the on fuck? On this call, live. Whoa! Sarah? I got it. So you're, you're telling all of this now because you just feel bad because of all the stuff that went down with Coyote? The stuff that went down with Coyote because Vito was- I always get worry, wary, excuse me, I always get wary of people who wear masks and are scared to show their face and what they say online because that means they don't want their face associated with their real life. Uh, what are you saying in private that you have to hide your face? What I'm saying to you right now, you see me in public, you ask me about it, I'll tell you the same thing. That's how I was raised. You say something, you mean it. If you're wrong, admit you're wrong. Be a man about it. Move on. Admit your faults. That's what makes you human. That's what makes you a better human. Admit your faults. I just don't agree. Like people, I get hiding your face online, but if you're going to go after people and you're going to go after pedophiles, show your face. Show your face. Don't hide behind a screen. This brought up just reminded me of a lot of things because I haven't, I haven't had my mind on it for a while. It must be really nice to just be reminded of it because it hasn't been on your mind. Whereas I, right down the hallway, am dealing with somebody who is still affected by his actions. It must be really freaking nice. It must be nice and cozy in your college dorm. Living a pretty happy life, all things considered, after you throw another child to a predator and keep talking to him. Because I guess you just really like that two-inch erect dick. This is one of the points that is true. All right. There's no way it gets worse from here. Please. If this is how Leo talks to an actual victim, I need to know how he's talking to these pedophiles, bro. Really devastating, and that unfortunately was brought up multiple times outside of this call. That he thinks that I've gone over my abuser when I haven't, and uses Jordan's grooming to diminish mine. You can't get over your abuser that quickly. It has impacted me and still impacts me every day. The fact that someone who claims to care for victims is able to so arrogantly assume that this isn't hurting me just because I've moved into a dorm by yeah. myself even though it is, is very disgusting. Exactly. It felt yes. like any time I needed to talk about my abuser or anything along those lines, yes, I was mocked. It was reduced to a joke when I needed to talk about it, to process it. What I was trying to say here was that the Coyote Lovely situation made me realize I needed to come clean about my actions rather than hide it until it inevitably is discovered. This is disgusting. I do have one question. Are you still in contact with Vito by chance? No. I can't believe you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I, I can't. No reason to believe me. Wait, isn't this I the don't... group of people that say believe all victims, though? I'm not, I don't follow that narrative. I like to figure out what happened. You know what I'm saying? But now they're not following that. I think Leo was the one that was mad at us for the uh, not doing the Believe All Victims thing on Twitter or some shit like that. Leo tried to grandstand on Slug Stream against people saying people should look at his own actions other than Slugs. Yup, yup. Irony. Lied Irony to my face. at his finest. Tell me, what's the one rule I have with everybody? Do not lie to you. No, you do it trampling over literally everybody's work. So while Sarah was working on that video to expose Vita further, you were talking to him and getting all sorts of validation. They're mad she, they're mad Jibs ruined a video for being a victim. Is that the point you're trying to make right now, Leo? Is Because if that is, that is some content brain garbage, narcissistic behavior, bro. Actual clown mask and makeup being put on, mask on type shit. Maybe Leo is projecting here. Uh, maybe he's mad that a similar situation happened in his life. I'm just inferring. There's no any evidence or a basis. There's no, there's no, there's no facts to this. But it sounds like Leo is hurt. Maybe Daddy did something to you when you were a kid. Maybe 
Because it sounds like you're projecting. I've never never heard anyone do this before to a victim, right? I can't say. Burn the world ha has literally died to people in Battlefield and said somebody find their find their parents, find their information, right? And it, like like some bottom barrel, just some crazy, crazy fucking shit has come out of Burn the World's mouth, right? He's in call. But I, if there's an actual victim in a call, I don't even think Burn the World would do that. I don't even think Slug would do this. Mate, well, nah, I don't think Slug would. I don't think Slug would. Making the vid tonight this pisses me off more than Ramsey's call. Please. Whoa, when? Bro, Burn, there ain't no way you're gonna deny the fact on stream you said that, bro. Somebody find his fucking parents, get his information, as you fucking died, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, like, us, our group, we make fun of motherfuckers all day and every day, right? And somehow... We're the smart ones in this situation. Us Spurgs. He just the Leo sounds funny when he's mad. We do laugh at each other. I'm trying to be intimidating. I have more respect for Mama Max than Leo. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> Actually, I don't think Mama Max ever berated any victims. Now, see, Leia, if something happened like this in our community, we would all react very differently. Because all of us go into problems either one being super spurred or super logical with notes timestamps and everything there's no in between for us how many times did you guys erp after that i'm curious tell me how many more voice messages did he send you talk about how he wants to lick your body tell me one about you're over 18 now it shouldn't be a problem wait 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 Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Your your past trauma and experience don't matter anymore because you're 18. You're no longer a child, bro. You were groomed before you were 18. That's fine. You're 18 now. It's okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? There's no way I, I heard it like that. There's no way I just heard it like that. Sarah was working on that video to expose Vita further. You were talking to him again, all sorts of validation. How many times did you guys ERP after that? I'm curious. Tell me. How many more voice messages did he send you talking about how he wants to lick your body? Tell me. One about you're over 18 now. It shouldn't be a problem. Come on. I don't mean to smile at this. I don't know. I don't like. Like this seems like some true TV type. Oh God. Jibs, just come hang out with us over here, bro. Just come hang out over here, bro. God forbid someone much less a victim be uncomfortable with their sexual logs between the groomer be brought up in reference. Not only that, shown to the world pretty much online where anyone and everyone could look at it you know god forbid someone in your real life sees those you know oh wow you know wow big big whoop right jesus fucking Christ. How, how far does this delusion go god forbid right jesus christ this is this is real this is this is an actual call that happened I don't know what to feel anymore, guys. I feel, I feel disgusting right now just listening to this. Like I feel horrible. Like, I genuinely feel horrible. I'm jibs. Like I genuinely, feel, this doesn't happen much to me. I, I genuinely don't like. I'm. I feel horrible for you, bro. Like, I don't know what your pronouns are. I, I don't want to offend you. You've been chilling, chat and shit like that. Just fucking come, come hang out with us. Join, join the commentary SMP with us. You know, Leia, something's there. Catonic, burn the world tennis. We're all there, bro. We're all chill. We got a little dirt houses and wood houses and stuff. Place some blocks with us. Grow some, some wheat or something like that on Minecraft. Get away from this stuff. Just like this stuff never had blocked this shit out too, bro. I can't believe this is like actually real. Like what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Okay, now it can't get worse. Okay, I. This was when she was still a minor, so can you not ask those questions? She's eighteen now. That's, yeah, she's 18. 18. Now, that's why I'm dog on piss. They're eighteen now. Can you not ask those questions, please? Lastly, I had my reasons for wanting to keep all of this private. 
One being due to fear of backlash from iOS yep. 7, another being wanting to avoid stress and focus on my studies, and the main one is that I honestly wanted and have been trying to move on from everything that occurred in and before Senate. I'm not proud of my actions during that time, and I'm also not happy with the amount of things I let slide due to my distaste for conflict or how I was treated. I'd be in the same boat. I wouldn't be happy with the way I let things slide, bro. These motherfuckers got to get their licks, bro. There's no way. There's no way. You're talking way too sweet about it. If I was, if I was fucking, if I was Jibs, bro, y'all talking way too sweet, way too comfortable about talking sweet about my name, bro. There's no way. Like, I think the way you handled this with this video is extremely professional. Had this have been me, um, it would have been me screaming in front of a camera. No one would have heard or listened to it anyways. This is insane. Wow, Peach is my hero, OMG. <laughs> Hey Dan, two forty p. I don't, I don't know how it can get worse, Dan. Unless they physically go and beat the shit out of Jibs for not telling them about their sexual uh, predator sooner. Like actually, like, fuck you, start kicking their face in or some shit like that. Like that's the only way I can see this getting worse. Or calling the cops on Jibs for some shit because they're mad that Jibs didn't tell them about the predator earlier. Like that's the only way I can see this actually getting worse. Another thing is that while I appreciate any apologies that I've been receiving now, it's hard for me to accept them since they don't feel genuine considering so much time has passed since these events. What does age regress mean? What does that mean? Wait, apparently they cut the call the way they did because Peaches claims they age regressed in the other parts of the call. What does that mean? Like go back in it. Oh, okay. That's fucking. But he did say, oh, you're 18 now, so it shouldn't even matter. I can't get that out of my head. Jibs, I would be insanely fucking pissed off. Like, I'd be insane. Why are you licking my feet, bro? Sorry, my cat's licking my feet. It's a little weird. Go back and age mentally. Find which all these people wow. could have used, and some people have used. Sorry, we got a little childish at the end, end of the call. It's pretty. They said it, that in a professional way. Totally not the frame Peach is in a heroic way. Oh, totally. God, no. No. <laughs> It's not, they're not clout hungry, guys. They're not looking for views. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't. The Jibs, Jibs is the asshole, guys. Jibs is the asshole. You you let some guy groom you, get the fuck out of here, bro. You piece of shit. Get, but, Jibs, Jibs is doing this for clout, guys. Don't worry about it. Actual victim? Nah, it's, it's clout. Like, if they were actual victim, they would have came way sooner. You know what I'm saying? They would have told them that. Waited a year? Way too long, bro. Way too long. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Clout. They're just doing it for clout. Whistleblower to apologize to previously, not just for this call, but for the overall treatment I received while in Senate. I do think aspects of Senate and those in it helped, and I'm grateful for that, and for the okay. times in which I was offered comfort. That does not excuse or make up for the ways that I was repeatedly mistreated in that server. Jesus Christ. If you look at one-star reviews from drive throughs in your- Okay, I'm sorry. I love watching this guy's vlogs. I apologize. I exposed myself again. I like Call of Duty. I like watching people's vlogs. Guys, I- <sighs> Jibs- Jibs, add me on Twitter. We'll get you a Discord link into the pit. The pit is just full of miscreants who like making fun of each other, trolling each other online. We love playing Minecraft. We'll give you the role. You'll be part of the Brotato Chip Squad. Um, I made that role up. I'm going to make that right now. Come hang out with all of us. Uh, fucking pretty much all the people in here are in that Discord. Um, I don't... That was a lot to unpack. I, I'm i befuddled. I am perplexed. My mind is doing backflips in itself. My hippocampus has motion sickness now from the continuous flips it was doing, trying to understand that last segment. Helldivers is peak. I love Helldivers. Um, I just hit level 12. Very happy about that. Um, the, the, what are they, the Terminids? No. The machine people, they keep kicking my ass. I'm not a bug stomper. I need to start stomping more bugs. Jibs, there are edgy things said in the pit. Just a warning. I don't want you to get surprised. It's literally just edgy humor. That flatly sucks at Helldivers. These are facts. These are facts. It's not slander. Let it be known. Flatly talking is actually bad at Helldivers and Call of Duty. Guys, I love you. Thank you for listening, watching, and subscribing. Um... We'll go live probably tomorrow. More on this stuff. Uh, if there's more stuff, Jibs, add me on Discord. Leia beat flatly at WWE. Um, add Leia 
Um, if there's anything else you got, you want us to watch, send it all to Leia. Leia has been sending out all this information to all of us. So once again, W Leia, thank you so much for showing us. I think Ant might be going live soon with it. Uh, I'm not beating the Minecraft allegations. Definitely not beating the Minecraft allegations. But whatever they said I did on Twitter, I definitely did that shit. No evidence needed. That shit happened. Um, I'm out of here, guys. I love y'all. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. I, that's the Turd Island ending screen. I didn't steal it from Badrick. He gave it to me. Uh, I'm out of here.